Good evening, Dr. Blessman. Good evening. Good evening, Troy. How are you doing? I'm well, thank you. How are you? Can you hear me? <laughs> I can. Yes. Can you hear me okay? I can. I can. Right. I am the, yeah. I'm navigating our room. <laughs> <laughs> well, great to see you again, Michelle. Dr. Flossman, thanks for having me on uh, on your program. This is uh, really, uh, really special. Glad you're here, Troy. Glad you're here. We normally um, introduce or greet our community. And so Dr. Bletzman, I see you are in the room. You on mute, doctor. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> um, I am so glad to see, you know, some of our, you know, a lot of our regulars here in the room tonight, uh, you know, people start rolling in, maybe by 710, you'll see, a, a, you know, see the numbers go up some more. Um, did you see Ms. Belvedere's uh, note? To see, it's already going up went from 10 to 13, just that quick. No, uh, Ms. Belvedere, yes. Belvedere's note to you, Michelle, that was so sweet. No, I, I hope you did have it. <laughs> you know, I did have, I hope you did have an amazing day today too, Michelle. And as well as you, Ms. Belvedere. Denise, yeah. good, so good to see you. Thank you for being here. Dr. RV, hey, we've had some, some awesome conversations recently. I'm so glad to see you. June Johnson, oh. um, welcome, welcome. Nia, Pat Morgan, I don't think, is that, that seems to be a new name. Uh, but nonetheless, we're glad to see you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Patricia from you from the UK from near and around London. I know it's like one o'clock in the morning or something like that, but we're so happy to see you. Yes, okay. You're in the room. Paula. Yes, absolutely. Um, Paula McNair, glad to see you. Uh, awesome, Richmond. I think this is Karen Richmond from Chicago. That's back in the room. She presented. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, and um, she's here tonight. So thank you all for joining us yet again. Oh, we got another person that came in. Who is it? I, oh, two more. I see you. Who is it? Oh, Barbara Brock and Shirley Walker entered uh, the room. So good to see you and uh, see you in this space again. We've just had, um, you know, our commitment is to walk people to continue to walk folks, as long as we're, we find this uh, workable and usable and uh, informative, we're gonna walk people through and be with them, journey with them through this pandemic and, and its after effects mm -hmm. uh, for as long as we need to be here. Um, one of the things that I, I kind of mentioned to people, I just wanna share this tonight. One of the things that I've been mentioning to people is that you know, we, I know that you know, we do biosafety security protocols, we're like at 10 plus, like where, while the rest of the world might be at two and three, <laughs> we are at 10 plus. And I mentioned that at some point, we're probably all going to be end up being caregivers to other people because we're not going to be afraid to enter viral environments to some extent. So I just want to share with you that I'm with my, um, my godsons, all, three of the four of them came down with something. Now they tested negative for COVID, but they had symptoms that were like COVID. We know that RSV is around and circulating around high schools and stuff. But guess what I'm wearing? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's a nice one too. <laughs> That's right. You know, so, you know, so I'm here. I've made lunch. I've cooked dinner, helped the mom out you know and and you know and did all the stuff you know you know they, they've been isolating in their rooms and they've been doing what they need to do but you know you got to feed the children you know and one of them was having problems with algebra so i needed to go do a quick tutorial on how to graph equations and then how to write the the, the algebraic equation and i'm glad i had my 
<laughs> because you know because you know because kids need that you know they need some contact they're not going to you know they're not going to do well isolated in a room with, with you know with somebody that now this is i have i've used more than just my air temperature because y'all know me i got my hocl i sprayed and disinfected and all that and they have air purifiers in their room they have ionizers on and you know their mask but you know, but it just it just feels so good to know that first of all, I'm not planning to get sick because next week I go out, I have some international travel planned for next Monday. So I can't afford to get sick. So that's why I have my <laughs> air today. Okay, so uh I guess I've said it a lot, but uh Troy. Anderson is uh, the owner of Air Tamer, and uh, he is our special guest for tonight. And he's going to explain to us a lot about the Air Tamer, what it does, the science behind it, how it got developed. I'd like to know how long you all were in business, because I think I've seen these even before COVID. I mean, this was, I thought yeah. I used to see them like in the sharper image catalogs in, in airline back in the day when airlines used to have those uh, gift catalogs. So, right. um, so I am, uh, I'm looking forward to your presentation tonight, Troy. Well, Dr. Busman and Michelle, it's an honor to be here. Thanks again, everybody for um, joining us tonight. And um, it is a, a fun time to be in the healthcare business, that's for sure. Um, mm -hmm. And I thank you for everything that you're doing at your great organization to help keep the, uh, the levels high uh, as far as the different protocols and techniques that you know we can all use uh, every day to in, you know increase the probability that we stay healthy. And you know none of us want to live in a in a bubble where we can't um, get access to um, normal life. And uh, that's probably a good way to avoid viruses is just to avoid um going outside and and um doing errands and things like that but that's not very fun as we've all discovered you know during covid and uh, we all became very uh tired of being locked up and and we want our freedom and that's where i think a lot of very simple techniques to keep you healthier um can go a long ways um mm -hmm. And I think that's where Air Tamer fits in uh, beautifully. And just like you mentioned, we're not trying to replace hand washing or room air purifiers or um, you know staying hydrated, uh, et cetera. Those are all smart you know protocols that we should all continue to follow, especially during uh, seasons like now where there's a lot of flu uh, going around. So. Uh, the way we've always seen Air Tamer is a very effective, tested, trusted uh, tool uh, in your um, in your uh, tool chest to help you stay healthier. And especially as as you're doing next week when you're going to be traveling, that's when you get exposed to a lot of people, um, a lot of bugs, and that's why it's more important than ever to really have uh, protection along the way. So. Um, We've been around a long time. We've been selling air tamer since 2004 when we invented it. Um, so we did do the development for it. Um, we've got several patents. Um, the science is not is not super new. Uh, this technology has been used in smokestacks um, to clean the smoke coming out of uh, factories for uh, for decades. Um, and back when smoking could be allowed in uh, bars and restaurants, um, they had industrial um, air purifiers that used similar uh, technology. And the reason it's used is because it's very effective um, at getting the smaller particles, uh, such as in that case, it's, it's smoke. Um, so since 2004, we've been selling air tamer and it works with all sorts of air pollutants. Um, uh, initially, it was a, a big concern with smog and smoke. Uh, there was a big market, of course, in uh, places like China, where these countries are growing very rapidly, and the air quality was really, really bad. Um, and so the market was very, has always been very strong uh, in China and Hong Kong. Um, it's been very strong here in, in the West because it's a great way to deal with allergens um, and also with, with smoke. 
Um, it's always been uh, extremely helpful with uh, with viruses, but of course that became um, much more important and prominent, of course, during during COVID. And the technology is 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 very interesting. So I've got one um, here, and so the way it works is millions of negative ions are emitted from this little black brush that's at the top of the unit. And those negative ions will go into the air and they'll attach themselves to all sorts of pollutants, whether it's a virus uh, or smoke or dust, a VOC even, and it'll change the polarity of that pollutant to negative. And the way physics works is that negatively charged pollutant now will want to find the closest positive ground. And just like a, a natural magnetic um, attraction, it's going to uh, fall to the floor, to the desk, to the window, to the chair, um, maybe even your clothes. But the whole objective is to keep it out of your breathing space, because if it enters your, your lungs, then you have a higher probability of getting sick. So it's all really about reducing the probability that those contaminants will get into your breathing passages and therefore cause a lot of problems for you uh, inside your body. And as we all know now, um, after COVID, it's the small particles like viruses that can do the most damage to your health, especially if you've got um, underlying health issues um, or you have, you're at a certain, you know, a certain age, um, it can be a, a major problem. And so you can use it inside, outside, on a train and a plane. Um, it works best in still air when you're outside and, um, a very busy street that's very windy. It's very hard for us to compete. I get that question quite a bit, but, um, it's very effective, um, the units are all rechargeable except for our, our opening price unit. So you don't have to worry about uh, um, recharging it every day. <clears throat> they um, last for 150 hours uh, plus on one charge. And um, so it's a great traveling tool. Um, we've had it tested for uh, two different viruses, influenza A and another virus. We've, as I mentioned before, we've tested it on smoke, uh, VOCs, and on dust. And so we've done these tests in multiple countries. The two most prominent ones were the, um, the virus testing that we did in uh, Tokyo, Japan, by a very prestigious uh, test agency. Airtamer is, um, has all the required endorsements, uh, more than any other brand in the world. So we've got, uh, we're certified not to have um, any emission of ozone. We are certified uh, for safety. Um, we are certified not to interfere with uh, the avionics on airplanes. Um, there's no problem with TSA. So when you're going through the airport, they won't give you a hard time about having a rechargeable um, personal air purifier because TSA allows you um, to go through um, the detectors without a problem. So we... Um, Really? Because they make me take it off when I go through. TSA. Oh, you, you can. I guess they don't stop you. They don't take you. They don't take it away from you, right? Like it's a, a large size liquid. You can. I take mine off too. So I go through the detector and I, um, I put it in the in the baggage um, bin. Oh, in the so, bin. Okay. In the bin, yeah, but okay. the TSA will not um, prevent you from taking it uh, into the airport or on a plane. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Um. So. That is, you know, so that's that's how the technology works. You know, they um, we're just generating lots of negative ions uh, from the device. It has about a three foot sphere usage area. Uh, we calculate that because the further you get away from the black brush, uh, the fewer ions you're getting. Um, so uh, we try to uh, ask people to keep the um, air tamer with the middle upper part of their chest. So that way you get a nice plume of negative ions reaching your, your breathing space. Um, I'm trying to think what else I can say about it. Uh, we sell Air Tamer in 55 countries. We're the number one brand uh, in the world. Uh, it's used by lots of heads of states and uh, celebrities. Um, 
athletes, teachers, uh, first line responders, doctors, nurses, um, you name it. We've got um, uh, users all around the world. So we're very proud of what we were able to, to do and help out, of course, during, uh, during COVID, but now, of course, afterwards too, because the, you know, the whole mix of flu and post COVID is very challenging <clears throat> and, uh, and difficult. So um, we're really uh, gratified that we can help people um, stay healthier um, when they're, uh, uh, they're being mobile. Mm -hmm. Okay. We've gotten some more people into the room. So um, Troy, you mentioned that there's like this three foot. So is that three foot in front of you? Or is that more like 18 inches all around your head? Is, you know, yeah. What, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's not a, th three feet would be like six feet in diameter. So is it a six foot diameter or is it, a three feet diameter oh. with it, the, the center of the the diameter being where the yeah. device is. Good question. We actually tested it to like 24 to 36 inches. So, but I would always uh, recommend to people that try to keep it within a couple of, of feet um, as possible. You can always, you know, put it on your nightstand as well. So when you're at a, um, oh. say you travel in your hotel, uh, you can leave it oh. on and you can uh, either put the emitter upright or point it towards uh, your pillow and that'll help keep the air around your uh, pillow uh, cleaner as well. So um, how do you tell if air tamer is working? It, it flashes in the back of the unit to tell you that it's it's working. So you can see the, um, the green flashing light on the back. But if you put the, also put the, the, the black emitter brush very close to your lips because the skin when your lips is very sensitive, you'll feel the tickle of the negative ions uh, touching uh, your lips. So um, it's very subtle, but it's very effective. And uh, you'll see it in the smoke videos that we have on our website. You'll see how fast and how efficient it is at getting rid of, of smoke. And then of course, also our, uh, the test results. You always uh, can see those on our website as well. And we get uh, rid of, 99% of the viruses within uh, 20 minutes with air tamer. And 99% uh, of smoke is depleted in, in just five minutes. And then I think VOCs, we get rid of 50, I think 53% um, in, uh, in, in 20 minutes. So depending upon what, you know, what kind of uh, particle you're dealing with, um and also the test arrangement but the bottom line is that you can certainly trust air tamer uh, from a performance standpoint and um you know uh, people can of course read the testimonials they can go to amazon and they can see all the uh reviews um, on air tamer and uh i think it's you know probably you know as much as we can say because it is to some people mysterious technology if you talk to people that use it, they will swear by it, that it really has helped them with their allergies or stay healthier. And we have a number of cases where everybody in the room got sick, except for the two people wearing air tamer. Yep, that's what exactly. that's true, right? <laughs> Yep, I, I have, uh, I can testify to that. My godchild who is an architect, um, she was at the National Organization of Minority Architects Conference. Um, there were like 45,000 people, 45,000, conference participants that came into Chicago yeah. and she has an air tamer and she has, you know, she has been following all the biosafety stuff that I've, she's learned and she's, you know, from me. And yeah. um, she was at a dinner, um, closing night, there were like 12 people at, at the table, seven of the 12 people got sick. Yeah. She was one of the people that did not. Now, of course, she's still really worried about Oh my God, so and so popped up sick. She was testing every day, like, <laughs> but she had, you know, she was very um, fastidious about wearing her air timer or having everything on before she left the house. Because she stayed at, yeah. she's from Philly, but she stayed at my, her home uh, for the conference. And she was very fastidious about making sure she had on her skin guard and took some with her. 
and that she had her entertainment was charged up and she took it with her and had it on the entire conference. So she was fine. Um, what was what was really interesting is that after the conference, people came up to her and said, uh, what's that thing you were wearing right now? <laughs> <laughs> You know, so yes, um, you know, you don't, you, you don't know it's working until you, for sure, until, you know, until you are in a situation where you know you've been exposed or you've had some exposure, yeah, and but you didn't get sick, yeah, and that's yeah. when, that's for sure when you know, yeah, exactly. Um, mm -hmm. So there, okay. there's no, there's no contraindications uh, in regards to children wearing these, like toddlers. Oh, that's a good question, Barbara. Uh, so we, there's, um, we have the usual choking hazards, of course, as you'd expect, uh, because one of our models has, um, well, they all have like a loose um, uh, length adjuster for the lanyard. So besides the normal uh, choke uh, issues, there's no issue with children wearing uh, air tamer. In fact, in, in China, uh, air tamer uh, has been used historically predominantly by children on when they're going to school um so it no there's no no issue there's no safety issue other than you know just watching out for the choking um it's a great uh it's a great device to wear uh to school uh to work um all sorts of uh, places I mean, it's great to use at home too but they when you're home in a confined environment, it's, it's not so much a concern about viruses. You may be more concerned about maybe VOCs or maybe if you live in California during the, you know, a uh, forest fire season, you may, you know, use it for uh, help with smoke. It really depends upon the situation, but, um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's very popular with, uh, with children. And there are some versions that allow you to clip it to the back of your shirt that's correct and i like that too you know because you right. can you know you don't have to put it you don't have to put it around your neck right so it, uh, it, mm -hmm. it helps minimize sometimes the swinging back and forth and so like but you, exactly you could like click a clip it to your pocket and uh instead of say mm -hmm. you know wearing the lanyard around your mm -hmm. neck the lanyard is conductive and so what that means is that we use the body as a ground. And so by using the body as a ground, we get more negative ions out of the unit. And that's really important mm -hmm. because um, you know, we're the best performing personal air purifier on the marketplace. And mm -hmm. we really wanna keep, you know, keep that level of performance high. And so we get very long runtime at the same mm -hmm. time as we get a lot of negative ions coming out of that little uh, black brush. Okay, so if my husband has it in his suit coat jacket, clipped on, but it's but the lanyard is not around his neck; it's actually tipped, you know, tucked into the suit pocket. Does he still get enough negative ions coming out to make it effective? Or you'll need to have the black brush exposed to the air because the negative okay. ion, uh, plume is coming from those carbon fiber brushes. And okay. so you want to make sure it can be clipped to a pocket so long as the there's not a jacket covering the emitter. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. 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 Okay. Gotcha. I had it. Okay. So I was at a, a, a photo shoot the other day and I had this bustier on. And so I had it tucked <laughs> between the girlfriends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and, and nobody could see it, but it worked just fine. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And I see somebody's comment on the ex-president of the Philippines. Yes, he he wore it religiously all through COVID. So you see a lot of pictures of the, and also the whole uh, many of the parliament members of uh, of India and, um, but yeah, yeah, people kept on asking him in the Philippines, "What is that around your neck? What are you wearing?" And he would explain, "It's it's it's you know my air tamer to keep me, um, to keep me healthy." Mm -hmm. Uh, can can you tell us what's the difference between the A310, the A315, and the A320, please? Sure. So the I'll start off with the uh, the the smallest one, if, if I may, and that's the that's the A302. And this one here, you have to replace the batteries, and so it has two coin cell batteries that are included. But after about 140 hours of use, you've got a 
uh, replace the batteries. And so the batteries are typically five or six dollars for uh, for two of them. But it's a great opening price point unit. It sells for $79.99 retail. It has the same performance, you know, pretty much as the other models. It's just that it's not rechargeable. And then you move up to our, I guess, our smallest unit, which is the A315. And this one has a pocket clip and it has a removable, replaceable emitter. So um, if you ever want to replace the emitter, if it gets damaged, uh, or if you find for some reason it wears down on you over time, you can replace it. And also the, the lanyard, as I mentioned before, that is conductive, that's also um, replaceable. So, but they, the lanyard itself is very durable um, and it's, it's very comfortable, but you can replace it if for some reason it gets, it gets soiled or dirty. So, so can the lanyard be replaced on all of the models or just that one? Just on the A320 and on the A315. The, okay. um, this is the, the one I'm wearing is the black version of the A310. Mm -hmm. And this is, um, this was our first rechargeable model. Um, it doesn't have a pocket clip, but you get a lot of runtime. You get 100 and 50 plus hours of runtime on the A310, whereas the A315, you just, just get 50 hours of runtime. So the A315 is a little smaller, as you can see, but you get mm -hmm. 50 hours of runtime on the small one, whereas you get 150 plus hours on the A310. And they're both rechargeable. You charge them uh, via the USB uh, port. This one here on the A315, it's on the back. On the A310, it's on the bottom. A315, you can replace the lanyard. You cannot replace the lanyard or the emitter on the A310. But if you ever find that the emitter wears down, then we'll replace um, the unit uh, free of charge. We're always there for our customers. The uh, All units also come with a travel case. It's either a metal travel case or it's a leather uh, travel case. So um, you always have a permanent way to protect it and, and, and store it. And then there, our best unit is the A320, which is the one that Dr. Blossom's wearing. And that comes in a high-end gift box, and that gives you the uh, deluxe unit. It also has a pocket clip, and that also has a, this has a leather pouch mm -hmm. instead of, the A310 and the A302, which have a metal case. I mean, they both are functionally you know, the same. It's just that the uh, leather pouch has a um, more elegant uh, upscale uh, feel and, and image to it. And the A320 basically has the same performance as the other models, uh, maybe a bit more, um, you know, ions, but uh, they all pretty much perform about the same. What you get is the you know, the other features that I just mentioned. So uh, size-wise, there's the A310 here and the A320. A320 is a little bit bigger. It also has 150 hours uh, plus runtime. And mm -hmm. the rechargeable port is on the bottom right there. So mm -hmm. great looking unit. The A320 allows you to change the emitter. Uh, so if you get mm -hmm. it damaged or you find that for some reason it, it wears out, you can just easily take off the emitter and put a new one on. The uh, the lanyard, if you ever want to replace the lanyard, that is replaceable as well. Uh, you just open the cover and take out the uh, the lanyard and just put a new one in. So so that's the line. And so the A320 sells for $189.99. The A315 and A310 sell for $149.99. And the A302 sells for $79.99. So if somebody's really um, you know, concerned more about the, the budget, then the A302 is a great unit. If they uh, want to splurge and get something a bit uh, more upscale, uh, then there's the A320 um, or the, you know, even the A310. But um, but yeah, so we've got a, a really good, you know, uh, line for people. Um, 
it make, you know, makes a great gift, but also a great gift, you know, uh, for yourself to uh, to stay healthy. Mm -hmm. so, Thank you so tell much. Me, tell me a little bit more about, you know, taking that emitter off. I, I you know, because I was looking at mine, and I said, oh, how does that come? How does it come off? Can you take one apart and show me? Yeah. So you'll see if I can get closer to the camera, you see that okay. little that little that little notch right there. Yes, I do. Okay. Okay. It just takes like a knife, um, not a very sharp one, but maybe like a you know, like a just a, a dull knife. And you just lift it up and you'll find it pops right off. Oh, okay. Got you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, and, and that's where you can replace the lanyard and the emitter. If you and the emitter. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Fabulous. Okay. <laughs> so, so what's the average lifespan of one of these units? You know, how long can I expect that it'll last? I got a girlfriend who says she's had hers for ages. Yeah. Years, years. I mean, um, it's got a rechargeable battery, right? So we all know that rechargeable batteries eventually wear out, but it all depends upon, you know, how long you use it for. Um, and, you know, even sometimes even how it's charged. So it's, it's really hard to, um, to estimate, but we've found many, many customers have used it, for, like you said, for years, several years. And so there's no reason why you can't get five years, you know, a minimum. Um, out of uh, air tamer, and so I I still use uh, when I travel I use an A302, and it's uh, I think ten years old, and I just mm -hmm. I just put fresh batteries on uh, every time I get on a plane, and and uh, it's good to go. Okay, so the re the bat I'm sorry I, I I'll let you talk in a minute, but let me get my question out. So the rechargeable battery that's in the 320 can those be replaced? They or can, just, but they should. Okay. They should, I mean, what we do, at, we've got a two year warranty at, at Air Tamer, but if somebody comes to us um, and say the unit's three years old and they say, hey, you know, Air Tamer, um, that my Air Tamer just stopped working. Um, even though it's beyond the warranty period, we'll work with them on a, on a big reduction in price for a mm -hmm. brand new unit. Yeah, it's similar to, um, you know, how Apple handles the, uh, the iPhones, right? We all noticed that after a year of, of use, that batteries is not lasting as long as it, as it used to. Then it, so it became such a big problem for Apple that Apple came up with a whole replacement program uh, for, for the battery. So when that battery wears out, they'll actually work out a deal with you where they'll replace the phone. And that's a similar approach that I've always sought to do at Airtamer because I, it's such an important aspect of life, staying healthy, that I want to make sure that that no concern about budget stands in the way of people continuing to use Air Tamer. That's true. And that's why we have the great uh, discount with uh, Thrive too. That's a great deal, 30% yeah. off and free shipping. Mm -hmm. So on the, on the A10, how did you say you replaced the brusher again? The A310 uh, surely is not replaceable. That's the downside because it's one of our older models. And so we didn't, um, we didn't build in replacement lanyards or emitters into that design. So it's a great, it's a, a great, great unit. Um, it is a workhorse. It'll last for years and years, but it, it, once that emitter goes, um, or for some reason that lanyard say gets cut by somebody, then you have to come back to us and and we'll take care of you somehow. Okay, because I, I have um I have one of the A315s and two of the A10s, and I just rotate them. Oh, that's great. Yeah. But, but one of the brushes is really, really low on the uh, A10. So okay. I'm not sure. I don't feel comfortable whether it's still working or not. Yeah. So when I touch it with my lips, it doesn't, but I still feel that little shock in my neck. So is that once in a while. Yeah. yeah. So does that mean it's still working? Still working, but if you wouldn't mind just emailing me at okay. Troy at airtamer.com. So Troy at okay. airtamer.com. That way we can um, we can send a a new unit to you. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I purchased about 10 oh. families. Yeah. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, do, do, uh, just let us know Did if you, you use want a black, discount? black one or a white one. So. Uh, <laughs> I said, did you use our discount? Yeah. Oh, yeah, right. Absolutely. That was always the motivation to buy them. I, you know, discount, I'd get three or four. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, and then, you know, I know I was getting a good price. Absolutely. Yeah, it's a big discount. It's free shipping, too. So. Yeah. I just want to make sure that it's working because... Um, you know, now with the flu and the R RSV, yes. you know, this has got to work. <laughs> Absolutely. Because it's airborne. That's right. So, um, okay. So I'm just going to take yeah. care. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And, you know, that, that virus test that we did was with the avian flu. So that was the, that was the nasty virus that we tested uh, with their tamer. Well, they wanted one of the two viruses. That was the second one we did. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, Miss Renee, go ahead with your question. Thank you. Um, hi, Troy. Thank you for being on and hi, thank Renee. you for having him. Hi. Um, I have the three ten, and um, I guess I kind of got my question answered. If something goes wrong, just let you know. I just recently got it, and we okay. can just email you. Correct. Yes. So now my other question is that um, when you wear it now. Uh, are you supposed to wear it this way? If I turn it this way, sometimes I turn this way so people can ask me what I have on with the light. So does it matter or should I fa have it facing this way when it's on? It doesn't really matter. I think just so much uh, is the is the emitter is exposed to the air, Renee. So I would probably look at, at um, where that emitter is positioned. You know, when you depend upon the clothes you're wearing, you know, blouse or you know, what kind of shirt and just make sure it can, it can be either way. We typically have the blinking light on the back just so it's a bit more, you know, subtle. Um, and, uh, but you can wear it, you know, either way. It'll work um, in either direction. And I need to have it close up to me, not, because you said it could be clipped on. I, this doesn't have a clip, but I heard you but say no, something could be clipped. No, unfortunately not. We didn't put a clip on that one. But yeah, it basically- It needs I to be close it, up. I'd put it like middle okay. upper chest and that it's way you've got, time. you've got, you know, 12, 18 inches. Um, and that, that negative ion plume is, is, is racing towards your breathing space, towards your mouth and to your nose area. And that, those negative ions then are coming into contact with pollutants around your breathing space. And then they go to work and change the, the polarity. Um, often these, these viruses have a negative charge. And so we actually, uh, we actually end up repelling um, these viruses away from the breathing space, which is great. So not only do we keep it clear, but we're actually re repelling them away because uh, they already have a negative charge and we just make it more negative. And so now you'll tell us um, how long should we charge it and make sure I'm doing it. I know it lasts about maybe five, six days. Correct. Yeah, I think that's like, five or six hours and it's fully charged it doesn't it doesn't take very long so you shouldn't charge no more than five or six hours yeah and you can you can keep it plugged in and you'll see that there's a uh the light is a bright red when it's charging and then when it's fully charged the light becomes very very dim and you'll so after a few times of using it you'll you'll discover that okay that light's really that red is really you know bright it's uh it's charging but then when you look at it in a few hours, let's say the, the red light is really dim, then you know you've got a full charge. The A315 has a, a battery charge indicator as well. So these different model uh, features vary from unit to unit, but um, you should know that as long as that light on the back is blinking, you're getting, um, you're getting full cleaning performance out of the unit. And so just look in the back. Oh yeah, it's still blinking. Okay, everything's fine. Are you supposed to clean this little brush or you just don't touch it? You don't need to touch it at all. There's no filters to replace or clean at all. That's a great question, Renee, thank you. Yeah, yeah, we get that a fair bit. That's a good one. How about, and it shouldn't get wet? Should not get wet. If it gets wet, you need to make sure you let it dry out because you've got uh, electrical charges going through that emitter. And so the uh, the water will get in the way of that um, that conduction. Okay, thank you, Miss Wright. Your hand is up. Um, yes, 
um, the the little adjuster, the little rubber like adjuster thing. Are we able to get additional ones of those? Yes. Yeah, we have a huge box of them here because we get that request a lot. And uh, so I I promise we're going to work on that design as well because it works. But um, we found out it that pops off. it pops off once in a while. <laughs> so, yeah. And also, um, for people with um, asthma or any other any of those things, are is is it um, is it safe for people with asthma? Absolutely. In fact, um, one of the first groups uh, to support us was the uh, Pulmonary Fibrosis Foundation, mm -hmm. and. Um, that's a really nasty lung disease, as you know. And uh, those people have to really watch um, the quality of air that gets into their lungs um, because of the sensitivity. So uh, yes, it's, it's, it, air tamer will only help you. Um, it, can't, it can't hurt um, a person that has asthma or any lung conditions. Um, and that's because of a couple of things. Number one, we're keeping the the lung cleaner because we're keeping the air that's going in cleaner, but also secondly, because we don't emit any ozone. And a lot of our competitors and a lot of air purifier companies, especially room air purifier companies, get into trouble when they try to use ions because ozone is often created when you're creating ions. And ozone is a very powerful um, cleaning uh, chemical but you don't want to breathe it into your lungs. And so you've probably seen a lot of, of uh, uh, press over the years on the dangers of ozone. And so we're, we're proud that we have a zero ozone emission rating from the California Resource, Air Resource Board. And so, um, so anybody with any lung conditions can feel really confident about using air tamer. Um, also, I have one more. Um, I I can't tell for sure, but I was wondering about like throat irritation. Um, if, if you think you're getting throat irritation from it, is there anything you can do? Um, well, you know, it, it's interesting. People that have um, a, a, a sensitivity to ozone, like I do actually, um, you'll, you'll find with air tamer, it's not an issue because we don't emit ozone. Um, so anybody with any sort of lung, um, condition, uh, air tamers, uh, particularly it's great for them because it keeps, you know, their, their lungs, uh, uh, clear. And then for normal lungs, then it comes down to really just, uh, keeping the person healthier, you know, when it comes to questionable air quality. So. Yes. We had a question in the chat about um, what impact does this will the air tamer have on people who have like a pacemaker or some uh, other kind of implanted? That's a great. That's a great question. Uh, people with pacemakers should not wear air tamer um, because of the um, it's it's a very sensitive issue um, because Apple has also been involved in this sensitive subject. Um, but um, we just like to stay clear of any sort of issues um, around uh, the pacemaker because we've got ionization happening, high voltage electronics inside the unit, as well as a rechargeable battery. And the A315 in particular has a magnetic closure system on the emitter um, brush mm. system. So, we just stay away from any sort of issues with pacemakers and just say, we just ask people, if, you've, if you're if uh, you wearing a pacemaker, please don't use um, air tamer. Mm -hmm. just, it's just too bad, but it's just, it's just the way, it's just, it's just the safest approach for, um, for our all industry participants, unfortunately. Okay, so we got a quick question in the chat. Did I hear correctly that there's a 50% discount? No, it's not 50, Pat Morgan. It's 30. 30. Thrive 30. 30%. 30. <laughs> Thrive 30. 
Drive 30 to get 30% off. Yeah. So, and free shipping. Yes. So that's our, um, biggest, that's our biggest discount ever. Yeah. So, so what, what, what's the best way to, to order to get that discount? Airtamer.com and just put Thrive 30 in the, in the, uh, when it asks you for the discount code. Exactly. Oh, okay. Air, Airtamer.com. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank yep. you. Mm -hmm. I just ordered one from my son now that we're, you know, traveling to uh, the Netherlands next week. So. Oh, what a great trip that's going to be. Yeah. So I, I broke down and got them. <laughs> I'm going to watch them like a hawk because, you know, y'all know what I mean. <laughs> Yeah. This is and, kind of expensive. Do not lose this. Okay. Yes, yes. <laughs> now, how, He's 14. It's like, okay. how, how, how long does it take for it to be mailed out? Because I'm going on a trip shortly. Oh, we can turn uh, the order around within uh, 48 hours for sure. Uh, sometimes even uh, 24 hours. We can't. We can't uh, always predict what um, you know FedEx is going to do, um, but uh, I believe it's going FedEx ground. And so, are you leaving next week? No, in in, in about three weeks, and, and I'm in oh, California. Okay. And, yeah, and no, I'm play, in no California. problem. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Oh. Yeah, I, I got mine in about four days. Yeah. So, oh. but I live in Chicago, so. You know, and I just went, I didn't, I didn't use any, you know, I didn't like call Troy or I didn't do it. I just did the normal, just went the normal route and just ordered it just to see how long it would take. But mine came in like four days. That's pretty clear. Yeah. Yeah. So, I, but I wouldn't cut it close though. Cause you know, this is getting into the holiday season. So, you know, allow them a good five to seven days, you know, lead time. Yeah. Right. Dr. Blessman. Yes. I see Miss to to Toya Horn Howard, and I am just so excited to see her in the community tonight. And she has Absolutely. her head raised and turned mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh, oh yes, she does. Back Hello, from Toya. All of your travel. <laughs> um, can can I ask my questions now? Yes, ma'am. Absolutely. One, I have to apologize to everybody. I fully intend. I got so excited about this. But I had a business meeting that ran way over. Um, you all know I am a big cruiser. I am getting ready to go on a world cruise. Right. Now that they have kind of let everybody on and in, I have to be more cautious. Mm -hmm. um, so you may have discussed this already, and I apologize. What would be the best mid-range model, I would say, or the best model for us on a world cruise situation? I would definitely go for one of the rechargeable models so that you don't have to replace the batteries or find the batteries on the ship. So um, that's a good question. I, I think that probably, uh, is, is the pocket clip important to you or not? Or do you just want, um, uh, because the A320 has a, a clip on the back where you can clip it to your clothes. Whereas the A310 um, uh, does not. They're both rechargeable. Uh, A320 is a little bit bigger, um, but not much, a little bit heavier. But I think- Do they that, both come in black? They do, yeah. This is the, this is the black A310. And then this is the black A320. Okay. Do and, guys, do men prefer the clips versus the necklace style? My husband prefers, likes having the option. He, you know, because he has one too. So I have a white and a black one. He has a black one. He likes the option because he can, as long as Troy said, as long as the top isn't covered, yeah. he likes being able to clip it to his suit jacket. So, you know, um, and have it sitting inside of his suit jacket pocket, but so all you see on the outside is actually the clip. Right. But he likes okay. having the option. And he sometimes, depending on what he's wearing, he'll wear, also wear it around his neck. For example, he's got a black and white Damali outfit. Uh, that's an African designer. I know her, yeah. Okay, 
So, he, you know, on, on those days, he likes wearing it on the outside because it looks like a piece of jewelry. Uh, yeah. 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 So, well, OK, so I will look at both of those and the and rechargeable it, is. So um, what is the re what are the 320s running and what are the 310s running? So 30% off. Yeah, so you get 30% off on both. Uh, so it's $189.99 for the A320, and that's available in black uh, or white. And then the A310 is available black or white, and that's $149.99. The A310. Um, that's without the 30% off now, right? Yes, OK. Exactly. Yep. So. Yep. So with the 30% off, I mean, I yeah, I, I'll math, factor but. that in. It's like one, yeah, yeah, it's like 139. The top model was like, oh, shoot, the top model goes down to the mid range model with 30% off. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, Mr. Troy, I'm just saying, um, <laughs> you're saying either one would be good. So, yes. uh, what is the major difference then? Just the weight and the clip? Yes. Uh, the A320 allows you to change the lanyard and also the emitter. For some reason, the emitter gets damaged on the A320, um, or for some reason, it just wears out over time, although that's not, uh, doesn't usually happen, but it, it has happened with some units. Then you can always replace the, um, the emitter just by, uh, just by popping off the emitter at the top. And so mm -hmm. it's a nice added feature. So I think for the extra... You know the extra money. I think that uh, the A320 is a, is a better a better unit, better, but yeah. Uh, yeah, especially with the thirty percent free shipping. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we can order this. Go on. Yes. So you can't replace the emitter and the lanyard on the the three fifteen three ten. Is that what you're saying? On oh, the three ten. Three ten. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. So I I think this is a much more durable one that yeah. allows you to. Yeah, you know, and the it 320 lasts. is more durable. You're saying, yeah, yeah. It, it'll, it'll and last longer for you because you can replace the parts, and also it also includes the upscale leather um, case mm -hmm. as well. It has a nice little magnetic uh, closure on there. Mm -hmm. Um, if we're flying in, um, mm -hmm. I have been using my air cave on the on the plane, um, and I don't know where they are, but I'm glad the air tamer is here um how long does that charge you said it takes five to six hours to charge how long does the charge last 150 plus hours actually we tested uh to 200 plus hours we've seen that many times really? in our testing yeah it's a long that's almost a, well, almost a week it's yeah, 186 it, yeah hours it's a long time in a week yeah so that would so, cover the the airport time the flight time the yes. embarkation time, That's all of that, and then just plug it in when we get to our stateroom. That's right. Okay, I'm going to place that order tonight. Yeah. Yeah. So actually, you know, I'm going to the Netherlands uh, next week, and it's like I'm going to be there for five days, so I can charge it before I go home, before I leave. And I'm anticipating that it will last the entire trip without having to recharge it. Because you know, yeah. when you go overseas, you got to also be concerned about, you know, having the adapters and making sure that your electrical, you know, yeah. your stuff yeah. will fit. So this is one less thing I have to worry about keeping charged up because it will last me the entire I, time. I agree. Yeah. I agree. How but much is the entire trip? You know. Yeah. I'm sorry. How much is the humidity for the ones that have to change the 320? Oh. $24.99 for a, a two pack of the, um, for the A315. And then I believe it's $19.99 for the emitter for the A3, I should know that, um, for the A320, I think it is. Um, but yeah, very, very inexpensive to, to replace. You get two. Mm -hmm. You get two for the A315, you just get one for the A320. Okay. Uh, Ms. Belvedere? So will it last the whole 128 days of our trip? I mean, what's the life of of, of a A320? It will. It, oh, easy. It'll last you years. Um, and the fact that okay. it's uh, 
it's rechargeable. All you need is that USB uh, charge cable, um, and then you can recharge it uh, in your stateroom. Okay, great. I really appreciate this. This is so much on time. Uh, you're welcome. It sounds like an amazing trip. <laughs> That's a dream trip for me. I just, I've always been wanting, wanting to go on a around the world cruise. I can hook you up, Troy. Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So you, you're going to take pictures of, of you and, and Bob with your air tamers on, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Thank we you. can use them for your your promos for your type. Cause I'm also, I have three clients going on this trip. Wow. And so this is going to be my um, bomb voyage gift for them. Oh. Incredible. Dr. Arvey, I do see you, but I wanted to check in with Miss Belvedere. She had her hand up. Yes, I'm so sorry, but my niece, little Miss Renee answer, asked the question that I was <laughs> gonna ask about replacing the uh, parts to the a, to the air tamer, and Renee asked for me. Okay, got right. it, Dr. Yeah. RV. <laughs> thank, thank you, thank, thank you so much, uh, Troy. I want to piggyback on uh, something that Dr. Blessman said. Uh, is there any damage to the unit if we recharge it before it actually dies out? Uh, her point was that traveling abroad and not having stationary equipment to charge. Can we charge this after a few days and then recharge it back up? Will that do any damage to the unit? It will not. Go ahead and uh, you can charge it as uh, often as you like, whether it's uh, empty or not. It's got overcharge circuitry built into it. So it'll uh, make sure that it charges uh, fully and, and safely um, as long as you have it you know, uh, plugged in. So not a problem at all. Okay. That's great. Thank you. That's for all of them? Pardon me? That's for all of them? For all of them, yeah. Oh, except for the uh, the battery one, the A through a two, we have to, unfortunately, when that when that light stops blinking, you got to uh, you gotta find a shop that uh, carries the uh, the CR2032, um, the 2025 batteries, excuse me. So yeah, you need two of those. And so they typically cost about, two or three dollars each so the rechargeable unit for long-term use is definitely the more affordable uh, cost-effective option so am i shipping this to the p.o box uh we um we can ship it how does that work with uh fedex ground we if it's if going to a p.o box then we'd probably send it i think it goes by u.s post but you know, I'm, I'm wanting to ship mine back to you so you can. Um, oh, oh, don't worry. We'll, we'll, yeah, we'll take care of that. Uh, what we'll do is once I get your email, I'll send it on to um, our team tomorrow and um, uh, we'll uh, we'll take care of it. In fact, we can, you can keep you can keep the old unit. And we'll just send you a new uh, one. OK, I was yeah. going to address the envelope. Yeah, just make, make your things as easy as possible for you. OK. So the bat you mentioned the what was the battery? It was CR twenty thirty two. Yeah, it is. I'll show you the okay. show you the battery. So so here's the the battery case right here, and they mm -hmm. are a CR twenty twenty five lithium lithium coin cell battery. There's two of those. Okay, so it's twenty twenty five. Yeah, okay. twenty twenty five, and they go into okay. the back right there. And how many does it require? One or two? Two of them. So you get you get two with the unit when you buy the unit, but then that'll like give you about 140 plus hours of runtime, and then you got to replace um, those batteries. So the 2025 batteries are going for you can get four of them for six dollars on Amazon. I think so. If you I think if you looked at like Amazon, you could probably I mean it's always over oh, the, this the map, but probably five dollars maybe for two of them. No, to, for ten pack you can get for ten pack you can get. I'm looking at it. Ten pack you can get uh, for six dollars. Oh wow, that's good. Yeah, yeah, that's there. You know, sometimes yeah. you have to watch the brand too. There's this coin cell batteries. Oh. It's uh, yeah, just make sure you get a good uh, the Panasonic. We've had the most success with Panasonic 
um, CR2025 batteries. They hold their charge okay. really well. It's high quality. Okay, so that's the other thing. Okay, let's see what, what that's doing. Panasonic. Uh, yeah, four for like 663. Still pretty good. Okay, still pretty good. Okay. Or 10 for 875. So that's not bad. Yeah. Okay. Um, now the the I, I didn't I didn't I should have written it all down, but the ones that require battery, can you replace the emitter and the lanyard on those or no? No. No. Okay. That was the original model. The mm, okay, gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. All right. Any more questions for to Troy tonight? Family? Um, how do I get this little rubber adjusters? Oh, if you uh, can just email me at Troy at airtamer.com, I can send you, uh, I can send you a few. Okay, thank you. Okay, so we have a couple of questions in the chat uh, from Nia. How long is the promo running? I think, Troy, we said as long as we wanted to, I right? So. I believe so. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, so uh, thank you, community. You know, I, we worked with Troy on and Stephanie, his wife, um, to work on this promo discount. So it's for our community and anybody who wants to use it. So let people know. Um, this promo will be running, you know, indefinitely. So um, yes. Thrive 30. Yes. So, uh, um, yeah, and then uh, 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 Carol Blaylock Wright asked the question, how do you know if you need to change the emitter? Can you go over that again? So we normally do, if the emitter is down to about half its original length, then we recommend replacing it. Um, and it's it's always hard to judge, but you'll you'll soon find out if it looks unusually small then don't worry about just just either if you have a unit that doesn't um allow for you to change the emitter then just contact us and we'll work out a, a really attractive replacement deal for a brand new unit and if you have a unit that you um can replace the emitter on uh then you could just uh simply buy a brand new emitter or uh, I think $20, $25 will give you either one or two, depending upon which model uh, you have. Mm -hmm. And the way that you can tell, you mentioned that you can tell if it's working, if you put it close to your lips, you can kind of feel it, right? Yeah, two ways. Uh, one is that if the light's blinking on the back, you know it's mm. working. Gotcha, okay. And then number uh, two, if you really want uh, secondary confirmation, then just put the, the black brush really close to your lips and you'll feel the, um, the tickling of the negative ions blasting against your uh, sensitive skin. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. This has been great, Troy. Thank you well, so much. It's, uh, thank you for, for having me. Thank you for uh, for being Air Tamer uh, wearers, customers, uh, being so passionate about the, the healthcare, especially during this. Uh, really challenging uh, environment that we're, we're faced with. But I'm also really happy to hear that people are going on with their plans in life and doing cruises and trips to, you know, to Europe and um, getting out there and enjoying life because I really believe that's a big part of the mission that we share with Dr. Blessman and, and also with Michelle that we want people to go out there and enjoy life, but just, you know, uh, take as many smart precautions as you can in order to do it in a, in a real smart way. Right, right. And especially, you know, now we think about the holidays coming up, you know, people are going to be gathering to have dinners, to hang out with each other. You know, you're going to be hanging out with people that are not normally typically part of your household. This is like the perfect time to, to be, to think about investing in uh, an entertainment to where I basically don't leave home without mine. I mean, it's the thing to do. It allows me a lot of spontaneity. 
you know, uh, if I have it on, I know I don't have to worry about between that and, you know, my, my skin guard for my hands, you know, if, you know, sometimes I, you know, might decide to just stop somewhere that I hadn't really planned on. So, but I know I'm protected because I have my air tamer on and uh, my skin guard and I'm good, you know, I'm good, you know, smart, you know, but, it, but, and, and in other ways, it's helped. I mentioned at the top of the hour, I think there were about 10 people that came into the room um, since we began, but I mentioned at the top of the hour that I'm actually, you know, you see a different background than I'm usually at. I'm at my goddaughter's house, and, you know, today she's got four sick boys upstairs. They probably have RSV, which is another type of virus. Remember, we learned the seven Fs and an R of viruses of viruses of virus. Yeah. So if you know how a virus is transmitted, you know, so the same precautions that we use with COVID, we also use with RSV. So, you know, I'm so glad that I have my air tamer on. You know, I'm now I'm away from them right now, but when I'm upstairs, I also have all the stuff yeah. you know, that I use. But this is really, really handy, really handy because you want to, RSV is an airborne transmittable virus as well. You know, and it's this is keeping it away from my mouth and my nose, keeping the viral particles away from my mouth and my nose, and that's what's important. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. So, do we have any other questions for Mr. Troy? I have one. The mm -hmm. lanyard it is adjustable, right? Because you say you should wear higher up on your chest, so it is adjustable. It is that little black uh, sliding. Um, uh, rubber piece you can uh, slide up and down so it, it's like right I'll take it off so you can see it so you just slide this um, up and down and you can adjust that so you put this it goes behind your neck and you just you just adjust the length of it in the back to be whatever length you want the the lanyard to hang and so it's very simple um, but it's effective and if it ever uh, falls off and you lose it, we'll just uh, we'll send you another replacement or two um, rubber piece. But yeah, it's, it's very that's uh, on all the models, right? It is. This is awesome, Dr. Blessing. I'm so glad that, um, wow, that, well, it started out because we had, we were purchasing Air Tamer and I reached out to Troy and I tell you, it has been a process back and forth, <laughs> months um, connecting, but we're, we, we have arrived and we have, uh, entered, you know, we have one of the top of the line air purifiers, personal protective equipment um, at our fingertip. When, you know, two years ago, who would have thought we would have arrived here today? We we started with the paper bags to the <laughs> to the. KN95s and the N95s and the skin guard and the HCOL and we 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 have Dr. Blessman have have invested a, a ton just to, to figure out how to keep us safe so we can thrive and not just survive during an ongoing global pandemic. Attorney Howard is like the prima donna of an of an example. <laughs> of how you can just live your life just with the, you know, the, the products that we had to help her move around. So she could go on her cruise and she's been gone. And I'm glad she's back only to leave again and go around the world with better <laughs> protection, right? So when you look at- Even her, better protection. With even better protection. So- I don't want to get, I don't want to lose this moment on who we are as African Americans um, here in the United States of America, making sure that we invest in ourselves. Um, Ms. Shirley Walker said it, said it best a couple of weeks ago, you know, 
she's our greatest investment. If she can't invest in keeping her healthy, then what is there to buy, honestly? So these units, um, they're not Walmart. But it's This is Neiman Marcus with a 30% discount. Um, and so you have an opportunity to have quality, top of the line. Um, 55. Top of the line. It doesn't get any better than this. It doesn't this. get this any better. This is the Lamborghini of exactly. Lamborghini. And so offset. Yeah. And it'll last longer. Exactly. It'll last longer versus a, you know, a, a Hugo over a Mercedes Benz, right? I mean, we have access to the Mercedes Benz of air purifiers. And that's, that is amazing because we have an opportunity to teach our community about creating their bubbles and being healthier and being healthy. You know, Michelle, at the, at the end of the day, mm -hmm. at the end of the day, um, you know, when I did the, you know, if, if we know that we can get five or more years out of yeah. the air tamer, then this becomes much more cost uh, frugal right. than a cheapo untested model. Exactly. Yeah. I'm exactly. just saying. Exactly. Exactly. And with, especially at 30% off. Okay. At 30% 30, 30 <laughs> off on each unit. And then we have the owner. Exactly. And then we're not going to get lost on the fact that we have the owner of the company on our webcast. You know, we're a small little consulting, consulting firm. So for us to have that ability to bring in the owner so you can talk to them, ask questions, um, talk about your device. What does it do? Can, is, can, can the children use it? Um, I mean, this is just awesome. I, I'm thrilled. Not only that, um, our Facebook Live is live. We have people chiming in and tuning in to get this information. And this is just a great blessing. Um, yes. I'm just really excited about air are there Are there any questions from our Facebook audience? No, they're watching. They're Maybe. taking it all in. Yes, I had okay. some. Um, questions from some of my family members about the units before um, with okay. the advertisement. So hopefully, you know, people want to take off their mask. Now, I cannot say take your mask off and wear your air tamer. But what I will say is, if you're not going to wear that mask, <laughs> put the air tamer, the tamer on. Right. Um, Absolutely. Because, you know, it's a, a freeing agent an agent of freedom <laughs> i want to say right. right when we're not out of the woods with the viruses in the rsv and the flu and the COVID and the omicron and of course you know how we do it we will talk about what's out there next week um but for the moment just in the moment i want to thank you troy and stephanie um for um you know blessing my family with air tamers. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you. I cannot thank you enough. My mother is an avid COVID ninja and she wears her air tamer to school. My mother is a school teacher yeah. every right. day. And so um, I'm excited about that. Right. Well, it looks like there's two people with hands up. June Johnson. Oh, June Johnson. My name is Johnson. And, yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So if you if you're wearing your air tamer, is it necessary to wear the mask or does it just oh, depend on you? Another great question. We get that uh, quite a bit. It's like a, just another tool, another layer of protection. Um, and the air tamer will actually help the mask work better because a lot of the masks have a electric uh, electrostatic charge. And so the negative ions will actually help um, you know, with the, uh, the charge on the mask. So, uh, but definitely you've got two, two layers of protection going for you. Um, and so we highly recommend it to people. Um, but like Michelle mentioned as well, if the people don't want to wear a mask, um, then they, then they rely upon the air tamer layer of protection. And again, it's, a, it's a great tested, trusted layer of protection, but, um, you know, uh, if you're in a very, uh, sensitive environment or extra uh, want to be extra cautious then the second layer by using the mask is a is also a great approach 
Which one is the popular? Which one is more popular? The popular one. Uh, probably the A310 because it's rechargeable and it's the middle price point. Okay, thank you. Well, thanks it's, so much. It's the, it's the middle price point when it when it's full price. What? Right. Cause it's like 149, right? It is. When it's full price. But you can get the top of the line one for about the same amount of money. Yeah. That's right. That's right. That's right. I just want to keep and and you get yeah. you get more features with the uh, with the three twenty. You really do. So. Not not a much more money. Um, mm -hmm. Michelle and, and Dr. Blessman, thank you so much for what you're doing, and thanks to. Uh, oh wait a minute, we got one more question. I'm sorry, yeah. Effie Brown. That's okay. Um, no, I he answered. I, I was I was chunking my hand down, but I answered the, the problem, the situation about the popular. One of these. Oh, got you. Uh, okay. Okay. Got you. All right. Thank you, Troy. I just so appreciate you. You know, Thanks, uh, we, uh, you know, one of the things we've talked about here is when we talk about products and we want to make sure that we're getting the best, best, the best items for the, you know, the, at the best price. But also, you know, we want to make sure that uh, whomever we're dealing with will respect our dollars and respect us. And so I've, you know, just thoroughly have enjoyed uh, working with Troy and, and Stephanie. And I think that, you know, you're going to get great customer service uh, with Airtamer. It is the top of the line product in this, in this category. It is the best in its class, period, hands down. No, you know, no question about it. There isn't a better version of this. So um, I hope you all will take advantage of the Thrive 30, whatever your price point is. You know, I keep talking the 320, but because, you know, it's my favorite. I just love it. But, you know, but whatever you need to do, you know, with 30% off, all of them now become like affordable and accessible um, all the way around. So, um, Good Christmas gift. Yes. 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 Great. So, yeah. The only Christmas gift you're going to get, but that's the best one <laughs> for this right. lifetime. Get the pal. That's a good one. Mm -hmm. Get the what? Okay. All right, Troy, we're not going to hold you. We have a couple of more minutes before we end. I just wanted to address our group. We're getting ready to have the holidays are up on us. Okay. Hi, <laughs> Michelle. Uh, Dr. Blessman, thank you so much. Thank you, everybody, for joining and for having me. Uh, it's been a real honor and pleasure. And happy holidays to everybody and uh, safe travels uh, wherever you go. Thank Absolutely. you so much. Thank you, Troy. Thank okay, you. Now, good night. Okay, good night. Now we're not ending. We're just saying goodbye to Troy. <laughs> good night, Troy. Good night, right. Troy. Thank you. Okay. Um, we did have some announcements. We're back. We're are we here next? No, we're not here next week. Next Tuesday. Next Tuesday is Thanksgiving. Yeah. The yeah. Tuesday before Thanksgiving, uh -huh. uh, we will run a slideshow. For those who, you know, and there's some informative things in the slideshow. I mean, we'll repeat things like. Dr. Tate, we're going to do yes. Tate's. Okay. Mm -hmm. We're going to do what, sweetie? Dr. Tate's um, presentation. Oh, yeah, we could. Did you, um, yeah, we could. Could we roll that again? Mm -hmm. I okay. mean, the only thing right. about it is, is. I mean, I can post it on Facebook because the only thing about coming into the Zoom is I would have to let you in. So, and to avoid that, I don't know. See, everybody's not on Facebook. I mean, if you come into the room, I'll be here. I'll just, I'll do Dr. Tate's presentation next Tuesday, but I'm not going to be sitting, sitting because it's Thanksgiving. I got to cook for my family. Right. So it'll just be rolling. It's yeah. basically what you're saying, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, I'll watch people, the room. I'll bring a lot of people to come in if you want to, but I'm going to um, uh, run Dr. Tate's presentation. It was an impactful. If you missed last Tuesday or the Tuesday before last with Dr. Tate, you missed some information. Now, I have the recording. If you're not on um, Facebook, because you can always go back to our... Facebook page and watch his presentation.
But if you have time, it was a I'm not I'm it, it was long, but he had a lot of good basic information. Like if you're not eating right, if you're not drinking a lot of water, if you're if your diet is shaky, he starts you off baby steps to get you to the next place to thrive and survive. Well, we want to thrive, not just survive. Um, you you should write, watch that recording. I, we, Dr. Tate's going to be back on our show. We're going to work it out to where he can come in at least once a month and talk about um, building up our, our, our immune system in various ways. Um, he, he, we need to even do a, a segment on Black male mental health because he has some great information around that as well. I mean, I, he was, I would call him like a, a Dr. C.B. Light. Dr. Sebi, like Dr. C.B. Light, because he was white. He was on point last night. He really was. Do, uh, a couple of Tuesdays ago, Dr. RV wanted to share some information about Dr. Tate. Dr. RV, are you still in the room? I am. Thank you so much, Michelle. Thank you, Dr. Blessman. Um, this information mm -hmm. is from Dr. Tate. So that was that's interesting to segue into this uh, since we didn't meet last week. He wanted um, the community to know um, how much he enjoyed being with us uh, and the questions asked. And he, for anyone who has gone to the site, looked at any of the products uh, on the site, um, he wanted me to share the discount um, with the group that he's, he's offering for a limited time to the group. And so that you will know if you'll jot down uh, this information. Um, the vinegar of the four thieves, which is the pirate's elixir, is mm -hmm. now, that's an antibiotic, an antiviral, an anti-inflammatory, builds the immune system. Uh, it's an organic penicillin, but it does something that's very rare. And that is, it does both to cleanse and to build the body. Uh, and usually tonics and herbs do one or the other. So this one um, is regularly $55, but the group price is $40 for a short period of time. You'll see uh, on his site, he has different tonics for different uh, situations for men, for uh, women, for detoxing. Um, the ones that are $39.95, he is offering $25.95 to our group. The lavender and chamomile linen and pillow spray um, is regularly $16.95. He's offering it for $14.95 to our group. And the body shield, um, which perfect, uh, protects and disinfects and sanitizes the entire body is regularly $14.95 and he's offering it for 10. So in order to get these discounts, he said, please do not try to purchase anything from the website. Call him directly at this number. 404-943-1171. That's 404-943-1171 to get the discounts on any of the products that I just mentioned. You can also text him for any questions that you might want to just text and get a text back at 404 Four three five nine three three six. There were a couple of people who sent me a message about joining um, one of his class. Um, he's it's you're unable. No one can get into the the classes that he's offering now. It, we're too far um, advanced in in that particular class. But he will be offering classes in the future. Uh, so if you're interested, my suggestion is to text him and give him your information and that you're interested in uh, being in one of his future classes. 
and let him know what your interests are. Mm -hmm. This is Dr. Tate. Yes. Okay. Thank you all. Thank you. Yeah, I, you know, I think it's it's going to be important now. I mean, we focused a lot on um, how to what are all the things we can do to create external barriers uh, from, uh, you know, uh, from having the virus find us. And that's been good. I think we're top of the line. We all know what to do to keep the virus away from our bodies. But now, you know, the other challenge is that we really do need to strengthen our bodies and make sure that they are in the top, you know, the top shape uh, just in case. I mean, you know, we all know that at some point or another, we can all slip up. You know, we hope not, but, you know, we all know that. And we have not spent, I think we can spend more time now in this, you know, in the next, particularly in this next few months when, you know, we're in the surge of the cold and flu season, talking about how to build up our bodies, how to make them as strong as possible so that we, when we do encounter any of these bugs or viruses that our body will have what it can take to um, handle. So, um, you know, so, and one of the things I'm gonna be talking about in the next coming weeks is the taboo subject, which is about weight and COVID and fat cells. And I'm gonna share my- Your personal story my personal story right because you know yeah i am so i'm not gonna put anybody else on the spot i'm going to share my stuff okay so but we do need to talk about that you know because that's been kind of a taboo subject you know you know to even talk about you know there's a reason why america has the highest incidences of hospitalization and death uh, from covid than any other country in the world and we don't really talk about one of the reasons that that is, and that has to do with obesity rates and rates of being, the, you know, how, the rate of us being overweight. 60% of all Americans are either overweight or obese. Okay, so, and one of the things that I was shocked to find out, because, you know, because everybody said, oh, you, you know, you might be a little bit overweight, but you carry it well, blah, 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 blah. But when I went in and did that analysis, I was in the fat, I was in the obese range. I was shocked, but I'll let you see <laughs> the chart and all the, you know, like, oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. So, um, so we need to talk about what we need to do to keep ourselves healthy and get ourselves healthy and what we need to do to, um, you know, to, to, um, strengthen our bodies, make them, you know, make our physical bodies as healthy as we possibly can. You know, so having great biosafety protocols is good. I mean, I'm glad that we focused on that, but now it gives us time to work on the other, the other parts that we need to work on. Ooh, thank you, Dr. Right? Wilson. I definitely need to hear that. Um, so, <laughs> um, so we're going to end this year. A couple of things that I, we, I want to share with you all because, you know, my whole legacy project is I'm not going to let it flop. I'm not going to let it do that. So this is what I decided. This is what we're going to do because um, we might have another year together with each other. I don't know if we're going to go two more. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to create a recipe book. Mm. So I need everyone to submit your favorite recipe with a paragraph or two about how you were introduced to this community and what it has done for you and your family. Because we're gonna have an artifact out of this. We didn't spend two years together, two and a half years together to not have, to not walk away with something. We're gonna have something. So think about it. It's not, it's an assignment <laughs> and it's not due tomorrow, but it's ongoing 
Um, you can email me if you have that recipe, like you just came out right with it. Um, email me the recipe and how did you yeah. learn about this group? And we're going to get it bound together and hopefully sell it. <laughs> if it's good, if it's good, we're going to sell it. <laughs> put it in our shop. Um, you know, we are, well, you know, we got uh, Eddie Joe's uh, chicken soup. So yes. we already got uh, that. So you're going to, you're going to, uh, uh, what do you call, um, revamp it a little bit for us and then send it in. I think I think part of your recipe, Mr. Eddie Jones, is it a can of chicken soup? No, no not can. Uh, that's correct, but I'll, I'll give you a homemade version okay, as well. Thank you. Yeah, so, okay, so no one else can do the chicken, so we're going to get that to Mr. Eddie Jones. So find <laughs> a, a recipe um, to share because this, this community has been all about sharing. And then for the month of December, of course, we're going to do a family game night. So you have the ability to win an air tamer. I think air tamer is going to donate at least four Ooh. of their air tamers um, for our family game night. So um fabulous. And I yeah. have some, some skin guards. So oh, and Dr. Yeah. Blessing got some skin guards. So there you go. So this is this is gonna be fun. Um and, and then yes, Dr. Tates will be back most definitely. I will run the show next Tuesday. Um, Dr. Tates, if you want to come and check him out. The week after that, I have a Karen, I don't know if you're still on. You might have to get with Dr. Blessman or if one of our community members want to just step up and um, facilitate. I have to go to DC um, for about four days and I leave my flight leaves on Tuesday to mm. work. So, and that's November the 29th. Okay. Please get, please get with, this is Karen, I'm on. Hey Karen. Hey. I'm gonna cheat. I have a, a guest on here named Jubin. Okay. And we and uh, he's a maskaholic and a hand sanitizer aholic. Hi, Jubin. Okay. Hey, Jubin. Welcome, <laughs> from you. Jubin, like, I don't know. Hi. Hey. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Okay, perfect. I'm sorry. Uh, I was just uh, came from outside, so I just joined quickly. Thank you, Karen, for getting me on this meeting here. Thank you. So, Jubin, were you able to hear uh, Troy's presentation about air tamer at all? I just joined about five minutes back. I was oh. in a homeowner, homeowner's meeting tonight. So as soon as oh. I saw the message, I joined. So thank you. Yeah. Uh, Jubin is a vegetarian. Yes. Why everybody's chowing down on anything. He's always eating very healthy. Oh. So maybe I'll try to squeeze the recipe out of Jubin. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah, most Same definitely. Here. Yes, I have I have good vegetarian recipes. Mm -hmm. Yes, and I know Karen mm -hmm. has them. I want those pasta recipes for sure. Karen, you might have to do about mm -hmm. five of them because you have some interesting dishes. Mm -hmm. Miracle noodles, uh, no carbs, no calories. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I will squeeze some Indian dishes out of Juban. Good. Oh, That's great. what we need. That's, That's what we need. We're looking for. So you hear that, Juban? Yes, definitely. <laughs> There are a lot of uh, healthy vegetarian recipes. Yes, khichdi is one popular recipe. I'm not sure whether mm -hmm. you've heard of it. Yeah. What the states are you overseas? He's in a uh, he's in a uh, Naperville. Oh, he's you know, damn street. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm in Burr Ridge, so yeah, he is down the street. He's down street. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. A flight away. <laughs> So Karen, I don't know if you want to get with you, Ben, Dr. Blessman, um, and um, present or do something for the 29th of November because I won't be here. Okay. okay. We will do that. All right. All right. So family, it's late. Oh, look at Christy coming in at the last. We can't redo the movie. Oh. <laughs> oh. If you want. Um, but, Dr. Blessman. Yes. 
Miss Effie? I'd like to ask a prayer. Yes, yes. I, uh, I'd like to ask or tell you something. I went into this pharmacist pharmacy that I, I'm going to get a vaccination with. I'm going to try to get that Novavax vaccination. And he said that the CDC is having that as, um, as a booster. Have you heard that before? No, because I thought no. if you got one platform, you couldn't get another crossover. Right. right. I you, well, they, I they you said, said that. No Are you, did you say uh, pneumovax? Yeah. Yeah. Pneumovax 23 is for pneumonia. No, this is just the Novavax. You know, the Novavax oh, the no, shot. No, the no, shot. No. Mm -hmm. Well, he, yeah, not he said to go cross platform. They don't want huh? you. To, they don't want they you don't cross want platform. platform. Novavax. Well, when they, too many people talking at the same time. One at a time, please. Go ahead, I just Michelle. I just mentioned the fact that I went into the pharmacist and he said, Effie, they're having the CDC is saying that the Novavax vaccination is going to be one of the boosters. Mm -hmm. And I just wanted to bring up to you what are your, your thoughts on that? I haven't seen it, Ms. Brown. Have you, Dr. Okay. He had a letter. I have there. not seen it. Uh, okay, so that's new. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's a safer platform and it's more traditional platform. So it's not an mRNA. So mm -hmm. uh, for those who were concerned about, you know, getting the mRNAs, the Novavax is. Uh, let's take a look at the Novavax. Is a it will definitely be a safer vaccine to take. Mm -hmm. But I haven't seen the research in terms of its efficacy because uh, I think it was based on the Wuhan strain. I don't know if it if they they included it as part of the Omicron or any mm -hmm. way, but yeah. you know, so yeah. we'll see. Mm -hmm. Well, I know that um, <laughs> we're gonna have to have a conversation around these vaccines because more data is coming out um, as we knew it would. And so there are a couple of articles that concerned me. Um, and I think that as a community, we should have a conversation around it. Um, and then I wanna thank everyone who's been sending me articles. I know I mentioned that a couple of two days ago. I'm like, I wish y'all sent me some. I have been getting them. And so thank you, because I've been reading them as well. Um, but there are, are a couple of articles that I'm gonna uh, read in depth about and try to find an epidemiologist to come on to talk about all of these different vaccines and what does this mean for us in the long run? Cause there is some scientific data that has been published around mm -hmm. um, the mRNA vaccine and it's, it's not really good. So I don't think that it's a good idea to just know or have this information and not share it. Um, but mm -hmm. I know that many of us, including myself, we have, you know, we, we went and got vaccinated and I don't have an issue with it and I need to go get a booster, but just based on the data that's actually being published, I'm not a little skeptical. I mean, I'm just, I have to be, I'm, I just have to say what I have to say. So. Okay, um, so I, I, I yeah. found some quick information about Novavax. They did retool it, mm -hmm. and they're saying that it showed a strong, they retooled it against the Omicron BA1, mm -hmm. good, and it showed a strong immune response as the fourth dose. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things, what I like about the more, the Novavax platform is that as a vaccine, it's going to give you more coverage around a whole lot of, a lot more different areas around the, um, the viral protein. See, mm -hmm. the mRNA is just focused on the spike protein. The spike protein. Mm -hmm. Okay, so but the you know the more traditional one is sort of like you getting a little bit of everything that it's got. You know, like the whole kin caboodle. So it may be it may be a better it may actually be a better booster than yeah. the mRNA. The mRNA, yeah. Because they mm -hmm. are saying that the, the efficacy wanes faster. Like there's more and more data that's out there for real. And it's a little concerning. And that is a conversation that we should have. And we will have that conversation in December. Yes. I could, I could get that. Um, 
I could get that information, uh, Dr. Glessman, and send it to you. Absolutely. Okay, fabulous. Also, and then I know also. Christy has information. She's she's waiting to, to see when she can share it. But <laughs> you know, it's like okay, because it's under wraps right now. <laughs> Do you have the number for the uh where B BQ1 and BQ1.1 is right now? Because last time I saw it, it was it went from 22 to 44 percent. I'll look sure. it up right now. I'm sure it has Look jumped it because the um, the news is saying that the kids are really get, hit, getting hit hard with RSVP. But this is for uh, B BQ1 BQ and BQ1.1 because now I know that uh, BA5 is down, it was like 39% of all the infections are BA5 as opposed to almost 70% the last time we talked. But that's the Omicrons, right? Yeah. I have to. So the BQs are now uh, 39, well, as of 11, 12, as of 11, 12, they're now 38% of the population mm. and BA5 is down to like 30%. Mm -hmm. So, what you know, about it's, XBB? Does it say anything about that? Uh, I'm not seeing XBB on the CDC list right now. Mm -hmm. um, so, what that means is that by next week, double. Certainly by, yeah, by, yeah, at the rate it's going. And, and they're saying that it's even more resistant. Correct, because then now, you know, they're saying that uh, the drugs, the, um, the monoclonal antibody drugs that they've been using for the immunosuppressed will not work mm -hmm. in the next, uh, right, in the next iteration with, BA, with BQ and BQ 1.1. So this is where we are right now. Yep. And then if you add in BF7, mm -hmm. then you've got even, you know. Where'd that come from? <laughs> That's one of Omicron's babies. She, she had some beasts. Uh, <laughs> 37 plus seven is 44. So that's mm -hmm. almost 50, you know, that's almost 50% of the population has one of the, you know, B, BQ1 or BF7. Mm. So BA5 is waning. You see it's that, that little light green one at the bottom, the bottom part of the uh, graph. So by next week, you can almost, you know, it'll be half that easily. Mm -hmm. And they're saying that the BF7 is evasive to the uh, vaccine even. It's what? Invasive. To the vaccine. Oh. So that's, that's why, you know, our biosafety protocols are very, you know, are going to be more and more important now. More important. Uh, you know, the advantage is that you all have had, you know, a year to really basically practicing and using the biosafety protocols and, you know, for this moment, because we, you know, we've talked about the possibility that the vaccines and the meds that they've currently developed may at some point become obsolete. So we are nearing that time when they are now going to be obsolete. All the vaccinations? Um, I, you know, we're nearing that time. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, you know, I don't have a crystal ball on that, one, so I can't give you a date. <laughs> but <laughs> hey guys, I guess we are nearing hey guys, that time. Okay. Yeah, they have stuff in the pipeline. <laughs> the pipeline. They're just so far. They're just so far behind because the virus is moving much faster than the uh, 
than the work. Right. So, right. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't know. For me, my thought is I'm going back to the basics. We had no vaccines for about a year. I was wiping, spraying, wearing a mask, wearing my tamer. And by golly, it seemed like I've had everything under the sun. So I'm just going, for me, because I got a immune compromised system, I'm going back to basics. I'm still wearing my mask, <laughs> wearing my tamer, and wiping down. Because like with the flu, they told me that I probably walked or touched something, walked into a, uh, somebody had a haze where they sneezed because I had just gotten off the elevator. Mm. And so, because I just couldn't figure out what could have happened when I never take my tamer off. So it's more airborne. They're saying a casual passing of somebody that's doing a lot of talking or mm -hmm. sneezing, or they might smoke a cigarette and blow the smoke out. One of the five yeah. infection rate. That, mm. that number came from Christy, right, Christy? Yes, you're correct. We have outbreaks with the kids in the schools here with type uh, type A flu, and it's really bad. It's almost a pandemic level over here on the East Coast. A lot of kids are missing school with the flu. And Christy, isn't uh, uh, type A worse than type B? Is that right? That's from what I understand, because they have all of like the fever, Okay. The up chunking, the diarrhea, everything. Um, like my supervisor, she had all three of her kids home at one and one week. Mm. And it came, it didn't start at their school. It came from the high schoolers that they went to a dance for homecoming. They gave it to their siblings and then it spread into the other schools from their siblings. Mm. Mm. And we had a thousand kids out of a high school with 2,600 kids in it one week. Ooh. So it's pandemic level. It's serious. It's like, if you better wear a mask. I tell everybody to wear a mask and wash your hands. But the problem with people, they do not wash their hands and they do not wear masks. They look at me and other people like we're crazy, but you better put a mask on. <laughs> Miss yeah. Miss Howard, the Attorney Howard, the Living Guard masks are on Amazon. You know what? It's the activity mask. It's a safety Which mask is. on there too. It's a safety one on there yes. too, and they are authentic because she just asked me, was it authentic? I bought one. Um, I'll put my camera on. I normally don't, and I'll hold it up so you can see it. I oh, bought yeah. one the other week. It's a little blur. Can you see it? Hey, Miss Tommy, Miss Christy. Hello. So there's a safety mask. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. This is a safety mask that I bought off of Amazon. It's one of the ones I bought a couple weeks ago. I'll put the link in the chat. Oh. Yeah, I'm not seeing the safety mask. I put the link in the chat. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's unavailable. They got you. Is it reusable? Yes, but they are out of stock. Oh, Dr. Vesma. Yes. My uh, my yeah. cousin, I was telling her about the uh, living guard and uh, she was saying that where she is, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's not, you know, you can't get it there either, <laughs> you know, overseas. She was saying that uh, she was, she looked on there while we were talking today, and she said she didn't see it. Of course, not the United States. Okay. So it's saying currently unavailable. Out of stock. So yeah. So you got the last one, Christy. Yeah. <laughs> it's out of stock. You got the last stock. one, Christy. <laughs> I probably did. I bought a couple of them, and I probably got the last. I think I bought three or four of them. The last three or four that they had, and it was a couple weeks ago. But just keep checking it because they might get them back. Oh yeah, yeah. Those in Europe is out too. So yeah, yeah. I was trying to see if. Thank you, Miss um, Brown, because we Miss Brown has a guest or a friend that lives in. Europe, and we were trying to figure out if, if she could access 
getting um, the living guard mask because I'd send her some money and say buy a bunch of them. But. Yeah, yeah. She said they can't get in there. And Patricia, I forgot to check and see if I can uh, hunt down Pankaj. I'll try tomorrow, okay? Okay, fabulous. Because, you know, uh, um, like, you know, I'm a, my, my goddaughters and she has a child. I gave her one, one of the ones I had left. And because, you know, but because she's immunocompromised and she has a child that's immunocompromised. And I'm like, you know, a surgical masks don't cut it. You need an N95 at, you know, at best. And, you know, the top of the line is, you know, the living guard that kills COVID. So um, what can I say? And no I, ready, I, want, ready ones, none. You said the ready one what? All out of stock. All oh. out of stock, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. So we have. So if you have one, hold on to it. Um, you know, make sure that you take very good care of it. We are looking to see where we can get, you know, get more. But you know, so far, I'm not having any luck. I I had a stash, Me but, too. but not anymore. I gave them away. I think I have three of them left Ooh, we are on the hunt i'm on the hunt i'm on the hunt all right family it's about nine o'clock i know it's late on the east coast and then mm -hmm. uh, london <laughs> in the house um if you want the recording for tonight mm -hmm. i'm going to play us out on some music and you can put your email address in the chat and I'll grab it and I'll send the video out to you um, tomorrow. So real quickly, I observed Dr. Blesman um, manage a situation that I was so impressed with the way she managed it. You know, we talk about all the time about how can we have this conversation with people who um, may not show up with um, a tamer or anything. So she sent out a notice to all of us that were going to be joining her to please wear your tamers. And so we all showed up with with them, um, but one person. And um, and what what I observed and really learned was she was so calm. She had a smile on her face and she just said, where is your tamer? And that was it. And the person said, oh, I don't have it. And she said, if you're going to be with me in my crowd, you <laughs> need to wear your tamer. I have one for you tonight. But that's something we need to take care of. And it was just really nice. I'm going to incorporate that. So I just want to share that with you all. Because I know I'm hesitant sometimes to approach people not wanting it to go south. But maybe it was just her personality. <laughs> I don't know. But I thought it was really was it sweet? It was very <laughs> appropriately done. You know, it wasn't uh, in your face. It mm -hmm. wasn't nasty. It was just firm. And this is the way it's going to be. Right. Right. Oh, that's not, it, it's, it's not a bad request, you know, because there were two people there, her husband and myself, who are more immune compromised than anybody in the circle. So we had our staff. We do right. with us all the time. But, you know, it doesn't take but one person mm -hmm. to expose somebody right. else. Right. Somebody. Right. And we, also, and we all know that, you know, very soon, you know, the medicines are going to be obsolete. And, mm -hmm. you know, and, and I think people want, you know, have different levels of information. Because, you know, she felt, this person felt like, 
oh, well, they've been vaccinated. And because we did have even more of a conversation other than the one that that, that uh, Shirley was able to overhear. Yeah, I walked but, away from, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, and we, and we did talk about that. I said, you know, vaccines don't stop transmission. They don't stop uh, you from getting infected. And then she said, <laughs> this was a funny question. Well, don't you think he would survive it? Because she survived it when she got COVID. I said, well, you know what? I don't want to take that risk because he might not survive it. So if he doesn't survive it, not only, first of all, I lose the love of my life. And then I lose a friend. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> and a whole bunch of my life would change overnight. <laughs> okay. If I were to lose my husband, okay, a whole lot, you know, like, uh, uh that can't happen. Period. The end in the story. So, I, you know, I'm gonna be like a mama bear about about this. So, you know, we had our little group. We were at a comedy club. We had our little group. We had all our little stuff out. We had the safest corner in the comedy club. Okay. <laughs> 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 Nothing going up in here. Okay. We, <laughs> this area. okay. <laughs> we had all our stuff. The only thing we can do next time is bring our fogger and yep. fog the fog the table and the chair. And yep. the flu and the RSV and the monkeypox out. Everybody. Right, right. Gotta okay. Go. And you know, and I am sure we you know we will take we will have that taken care of the next time around. But you know, we all had on. Well, except for the person that, that didn't have the ionizer, she had on the shirt, short dress off, or she had skin contact with furniture and stuff. I did not. I, you know, I, these days I've been wearing things that cover my skin mm -hmm. so that I'm not touching surfaces like when I sit down or armrests or whatever. But yeah, so I got, I, I just ordered a cute little bag little tote bag, a little designer tote bag is, I'm gonna carry all my little stuff. I'm gonna be cute and I'm gonna show you. Okay, cause we, I think we, we, you know, I have all my little stuff in there in my cute bag. I'm gonna be stylish, <laughs> but I'm gonna keep be on having some fun. Yeah, we can just mm -hmm. keep having Well, Dr. Blessman, y'all should be happy cause you and Ms. Shirley forced me out of my cocoon. So I did go see Wakanda forever. But oh, I right. had my air cave and I had my little muon ionizer. And of course, I also had my air tamer around my neck. And there you go. That's I was exactly how know, I, I kind of sat away from people to this older lady. She got lost. Her family, she went out to the go to the restroom and she sat beside me, but I felt covered because I had all of my biosafety protocol. And then I also had my mask. Exactly. I put my mask back on. So y'all have pushed a little. Go ahead. Did you spray your seat? I wiped my seat before what? I sat down, but I am like Dr. Blessman. I wear long sleeves and <laughs> long pants. I don't want my skin touching anybody's anything. I know that. You know what I did? <laughs> I wore a raincoat, those rain things to cover me up. So when I'm sitting on, I sprayed it and I wore a raincoat. So I'm sitting on this plastic thing, or you could bring a plastic thing from a dollar store and throw it away. Mm -hmm. That's a good idea. idea. But That's they a good idea. They have the little purse size of the uh, hydrochloride acid. Mm -hmm. So you can just spray that because that's what I used to spray when I And I, I normally carry alcohol anyway in a little sprayer too. And I spray with that. That's yep. what I did, Christy, with alcohol. <laughs> yep. Uh, that'll work. 70% isopropyl. Yes. Yes. But yeah. Smart. Smart. Did you get the smart one? Clean smart is another one, you know, but it, you got to let it, you know, you got to let it work for like 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. alcohol is instantaneous. Instantaneous killer. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, so I cannot care. <laughs> I have yeah. a question. Anybody hear about the cruise ship that had, uh, I don't know, my aunt told me about maybe, I don't know, 900 people that had COVID? Lately? Recently? Yeah, something my aunt sent me. I can't find it now. But yeah, it was a cruise ship. I know my uh, friend's uh, son with one this past week and he came back with COVID or he got sick one way or the other on the boat. On the ship. 
it's a, it was one in Australia I have. That's the one. Thank you. Sydney, 800 positive COVID cases Ooh. in Australia. Oh my goodness. Thank you. So Dr. Blessman, if you go to Singapore, I did find a site that has Living Guard on there, but they have no shipping. Yep. <laughs> I'm not going to Singapore. <laughs> you know, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just teasing you because you like to travel, but they have no shipping, so it's like no need to be putting it on there because they said they have no shipping options. No shipping. Mm. You better just got to show up in Singapore. That's interesting. Exactly. <laughs> well, we can definitely we we it because we're still on. It just lets me know that we missed each other last Tuesday. I'm sorry, family. It was yep, there you lectures. go. So. So this is the thing, you know, I, you know, I understand, you know, that cruise ships are, you know, there, you know, that's, that's dicey, but Miss Toya Horn and her husband, Bob, Bob is, uh, I think, close to 80. They use the biosafety protocols and you can be in the midst of all of that. They have everything that they need. The only thing that they need to do is make sure that they use their biosafety, that they are religious and relentless, relentless about using their biosafety protocols while mm. they're on the cruise ship. That's good. And don't, don't let up, let off, let up in any way. So if they, you know, hopefully, you know, if, if they're going to be gone 128 days, so they need, Ooh. each, each of them need at least two bottles of skin guard so that they, you know, peace. They need to have, uh, you know, a good ionizer, a good mask, and, um, you know, um, air tamer. Yes, the air tamer. Yes, and I'm glad she asked about that tonight. Mm -hmm. And she'll be fine. I don't care. Everybody else around there might get it, but she mm -hmm. won't if she, you know, if she's relentless, relentless, and that's the key. You know, you have to be relentless. They have, a lot of buffets on those, they have a lot of buffets on those ships. And it used to be where they had stopped uh, letting everybody touch everything. Mm -hmm. Now mm -hmm. that they've kind of let up a little bit, that's back. So that's the reason why you got to have your uh, skin guard. Skin guard. guard. Because, you know, when, you know, usually uh, uh, the, 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 the uh, point of, uh, infection point is usually the buffets around the mm -hmm. when you eat because everybody's going through the lines and touching all of the serving yeah. utensils. Yeah. And then if you're, you know, so she was taking her, if she's wearing her ionizer or she's, she has an air tamer or she's putting that on the table when they have their, their meals, they'll be okay. You know, personally, I would have both, but, you know, you know, you know, and then you have to follow the other precautions too. Like, you know, when you, when you poop or when you flush the toilet, you got to make sure you lower the lid. You got to make sure that um, when, they you know, and they, and they usually get one of those, they don't usually get an inside room. They usually get a room that has a window that they can open or you know, they a stator room. Like it's stat, stator room, is that what it's called? And where they have an outside balcony and stuff. So they get some fresh air to come in. But I would, you know, I would not go on a cruise where I was like, like on the, you know, bottom floor and there's no windows or just that little porthole. Mm -mm. No, no. Because you need, you know, you need a, you know, a room size air, or, you know, a room size air purifier in there. So, I mean, so those are the things that I would take on a cruise. I'd have a room size air purifier. Um, I'd have my, you know, alcohol wipes because after the, you know, because usually there's somebody that's that comes in and makes your bed and cleans it up and you know whatever cleans your room. So you want to, you know, use you know get touch uh, touch up the high touch surf high touch surfaces. Uh, a good mask, air tamer. Skin guard, um, HLC, yeah, and and just be very relentless. You know, she's learned the seven Fs and an R, and just be very relentless about practicing them throughout the you know one hundred and twenty eight days. The the thing about 
um, travel is, you know, we kind of get used to, for first of all, we get used to doing the biosafety security protocols when it's when we're at home and in familiar places. The challenge is when you when you is being able to use the biosafety protocols when you are in an unfamiliar place, and especially when something happens out of the ordinary that you weren't expecting. Do you have what you need? You know. Um, you know, uh, do you still remember to do all the things that you need to do, even in an unfamiliar place? And the only way that you can get comfortable with practicing your biosafety protocols in, in unfamiliar settings is to do them in unfamiliar settings. Now, I'm not saying go out here and go from being in a bubble in your house to doing a cruise, but you should take some baby steps you know, so Christy, I'm glad that you went to the movies. Just even doing that, just practicing that and, and say, okay, I got this handle. I know what to do. I had multiple levels. Christy, when, when the lady sat down next to you, you knew what you needed to do at that moment to mitigate that. Yes, <laughs> okay, I had, did. And I you had what you needed. This, I thank God for this group because it just gets you in the mindset that you have to protect yourself. So I thank right. everybody no. for their input because otherwise I would not have done that because I don't want to be around anybody that potentially has COVID and you cannot trust people. And like we went in a restaurant the other day and somebody was hacking. I had all this stuff and we got up and left. Uh-huh. I don't blame you. Because you don't know what people have. That's right. Mm. I know that's right. Well, unless the, I, I probably wouldn't have left. Because I, I do trust, I trust the biosafety protocols, as long, unless they were hacking right on my table. <laughs> but, <laughs> they were sitting uh -oh. behind us, and I had my air cave and the little ionizer and my air tamer on it, but it's like it got progressively worse. Oh. Mm. So it's time to go. Time time to go. To... I don't know if the person had emphysema or what it was, and people do not take... cover their mouths. That's right. Right. That's right. And you weren't taking any risk. I no. get you. You know, if that's what you got to do, that's what you got to do. And I don't blame you for that. Okay. Uh, yeah, I try not to, I, you know, I personally, I do try not to sit in restaurants where I'm going to be close up on other people. You know, we do find like, the, you know, I, yeah, you know, I, yeah, I get you. I get you. I don't, I don't. So that's the first line of defense is just looking at the tables and trying to figure out, and especially now when you've got BQ1, BQ1.1, BF7, you know, particularly now when you think about, you know, when you go to a restaurant, you gotta be real particular about, okay, what's, what's the best table? What's the safest table? One, that, and one that's not gonna require you to be within three feet of, somebody else you know look at the layout you know um so i don't yeah i don't i just yeah i'm good about not even eating at restaurants where i'm going to be or, or any of my party is going to be like back to back chairs back to back with somebody yeah. at another mm -hmm. table period mm -hmm. i just don't do that absolutely no. We, well, lose we, we lose in our community. <laughs> How long y'all want to stay on? Well, day? okay. Well, you know, I, it's it's nine twelve. You know, we know that that people will have to leave, but I don't want to cut this short because you know next next week is Thanksgiving. You know, it so is. we you know there's going to be a lot of people uh, who are you know we don't want COVID or anything else to you know mess up our holidays you know so um you know so we want everybody to be safe but also you know to live your life and live it fully and enjoy your people and have all of your stuff you know you know dr bless dr blessman you i was telling you about my uh, cousin coming in from europe mm -hmm. she's agreeing to everything that i you know that, that we talked about she wants she hadn't heard about the ionizer uh, she, you know, she's at least she's vaccinated and she's going along with everything because she said, I haven't seen you in three, three, 
three years or so. So we just gonna we're gonna connect. We're gonna connect and we're, See, we're gonna work it out. Mm -hmm. That is wonderful. Yeah. And and at the same time, you're educating her. Yes, yeah, so so. she didn't even know anything about that. And I said, what is that? You know, so we're gonna mm -hmm. send her one or she's gonna order one. I'm um, gonna send her information about the air chamber as well. But uh, mm -hmm. she was agreed to, you know, to, to help out because I said, you know, me and my husband, we're getting a bit older, you know, <laughs> and he mm -hmm. just got over his uh, his COVID thing uh, uh, about a month, a month and two, about two months ago. So right. she's a uh, game and trying to um, help. So I, I appreciate that of her. Right, right. Because, you know, you don't, you know, uh, I, I follow Dr. Eric Dean Feigl, and he's been saying, you know, repeat infections are not where we want to go. Yeah. So, you know, because mm -hmm. because you run the risk at some point of getting long COVID every time you have, mm -hmm. you know, anytime you get an infection. So, mm -hmm. you know, we pray that uh, Spencer does not have any long term COVID, that he has a full recovery. You know, yes. I have prayed over every hair follicle, every every inch, every cell, all the three <laughs> billion cells in his body from his hair follicles to his toenails amen <laughs> okay I hear that. okay yes yeah, thank we you. don't thank want you to lose the love of your life okay no, <laughs> no. yeah after 53 years <laughs> oh boy absolutely absolutely okay can i ask so, a question dr blessman i need some help from you from everybody on here my ear tamer, I'm so sad. I lost the black mesh in it. Do you know any way I could try to find somewhere to get something like that? I can cut it and make it the same shape. But I'm, I'm crying on the inside. What? On my ear, I mean, not my ear tamer, my ear cave. I'm sorry. I can, oh. My ear cave, I lost the little mesh part. I guess that's what you call it. Go to Home okay. Depot or Lowe's and get a helper help a 13 filter and cut it okay thank you thank you thank you christy HEPA oh wow 13. okay thank you you're welcome so go to <laughs> home depot or you said well okay HEPA. or lowe's okay. any of the the stores that sell any kind of ionizers or air purifiers for the house to have those filters and just get a HEPA 13 filter and cut it so that it fits Okay, thank you. Because you haven't done anything. The technology is still there. That's just like a little screen or something that filters. Okay, thank you. Need somebody mm -hmm. now. <laughs> okay, there you go. So Can I ask a follow-up question? Uh-huh. Um, yes. Well, my, my question was with um, PEPA 13 filters for home air purifiers because my brother's looking for one for Christmas but the ones like with the um from the blog that had the dimensions they were all coming up at like 400 to a thousand dollars um but I thought there were ones that were more affordable as well that qualified to catch the COVID virus is it the ones that have HEPA 13 filters yes we now there are uh, thank you, Karen Richmond, who pointed out that there were several now um, room size air purifiers that um, that capture and kill co capture COVID or anything down to 0.3 microns that are way more affordable. Um, so there's some I just bought for my, I mentioned I'm here with four boys who or three of the four boys were sick. So I bought air filters for each one of their bedrooms. And that was uh, the air talk. That's, I found that one on uh, Amazon. Um, there was another one that Karen told me about that actually does like a thousand square feet, which is huge. And it was, Oh, let me let me find it. But it was um, it was a really good buy. So you don't have to do the eight or nine hundred dollar ones now. They have they've come down in price. The technology is just as good, and they've come down in price. So you said the first one was the Air Talk. A A I R T O K. Thanks. 
and let me find the other one because that one only covers like 300 and something square feet. So it's like for that kind of works for a small bath bedroom. Okay. Um, but for a, a larger space, like say, for example, you got a living room or a combined, you know, living room, dining area, something like that. There was, let me find it. There was another air purifier that covered like 1900 square feet that was really, um, where was it? Okay. Um, it's $154. And it covers 1,140 square feet. Uh, hmm. It's on Amazon. Unfortunately, I got it on my phone. So let me see if I can, give me a minute. They keep talking, give me a minute and I'm gonna put it on my, I'm gonna put it in the chat. I have to just, get to my notes and get it in, get it off my notes. Thank you. Okay. But that's, you know, um, and it seems like it has, you know, so thank, uh, and it, it's like a combination ion and air purifier. So that's kind of cool. Dr. Blessing, what's the difference between that and the um, Home Medic 5 and 1? Price. You know, and probably size as well. I think it's, I think this one is smaller. Um, but, you know, we, you know, I, I'm thankful that we have people in our group that really um, try to find the most cost effective. You know, they're looking out for people's pocketbooks. Um, QVC, one time, I don't know, they had, they had the smaller ones for like $54. I don't know if they still have it. The five um, I'm not sure. Okay, so it's in the chat now. It's the instant, it's the, the heading instant help for quiet air purifier from the makers of Instant Pot with plasma ion technology for rooms up to a th over a thousand square feet removes 99% of dust, smoke, odors, pollen, and pet hair. For yeah, so we looked at that, and that was it comes in black and white, um, or pearl and charcoal. Um, yeah, it's not very big. Uh, so, you know, it's a nice size, but it's not like real big. It's nice looking, you know, so it's you know, it's not something clunky. And it's a reasonable price at one fifty nine. You know, for the for the square footage, I haven't seen anything of that square footage for one fifty nine. So this is pretty good. So this one here, the two twenty eight square uh, with five air exchanges per hour. Yes. I guess I, I have one more question. <laughs> I know the air tamer you can't use for people who have heart related issues. Previously, I had tried once the invisible mask, which Dr. Rowling had, had on his Insta, Instagram page, but they're hard to get. Like, they're not a reliable company to get things from. Is there anything else that you can do in addition to a mask? Um, for okay, people so. Related issues? So my husband has heart issues, but he does not have a pacemaker. So I think the issue is, I, you know, if they don't have a pacemaker, they can use the ionizer. Okay. Oh, that's good to know. I didn't know that. I thought it was all heart issues. I just wasn't trying to keep my dad alive. Pacemaker. Mm -hmm. No, it's just pacemakers. Um, they're... Oh, so the other option that you would have 
for somebody with a pacemaker would be like that iron me that releases like uh, 20 million per second. You, you know, yeah, per second. Now, if you attach, like, I, I can attach that to my purse. You know, you can carry it in your hand. Um, but a, a, if a guy had like a briefcase, he could attach it to that. I mean, He just had a hard bypass. He doesn't have a face. Okay. Maker. Okay. So he can wear the ionizer. Yeah. Thank you. That's helpful. You know. Um, now we did. Now that I and me. Uh, this was one of the things that we had. On our table. When we it's went out to the, uh, it's still forty nine dollars, and come, gets well gets to me like if I ordered it today, we'd get here by Friday. USB rechargeable. Uh, let's see if I can. It's a thirteen with a thirteen hour charge, something like that. I think I thought it lasted a couple of days. Um, floor okay, area so, 500 square feet. Yeah, it says 500 square feet, but you know, I probably wouldn't be more than 10 feet away from it. You know, oh, no. <laughs> you know, in terms of, you know, I mean, I thought this was great for, we had it, like when we went to the comedy club, we had it sitting, we had a couch. And there were six people sitting on, you know, two club chairs. And then when well, we didn't pack it out, we only had three people on the couch instead of four. So we just had five people. I bought six seats, but we only, we only used five of them. And I, we had a coffee table in front of us. So I had that sitting on the coffee table in front of us. I, um, so it's called the Ion Pacific Ion Me. If somebody can, I can't seem to get it on my, get, get a link to it, but if somebody can, that would be great to put it in the chat, a link to that. But that's, that's a great alternative for somebody. Well, I, I'm a gadget girl, so I have all bunch of stuff because I try it and I say, okay, how usable is this? How feasible is this? Um, yes, that's it. Uh, I thought this, this would be great for like teachers to have in their classrooms, if, you know, if they don't have a air purifier, I mean, you know, preferably it would be an air purifier, but if they don't have the resources for an air purifier, put, they can set one of these on their desk. You know. And get it from Amazon, it's cheaper. Yes. Yeah, because I think it was like $49 at Amazon. Plug it up into your USB port in your computer. Yep. I am. Mm -hmm. So, you know, when we went to the comedy club, you know, and we're talking about a second event at the climate comedy club, and it'll be with understanding we'll have one of these ion knees, at, you know, on the coffee table. Shirley brought her air cave. I brought my air cave. You know, I had my husband sitting, the air cave, he was sitting at, there was a little side table by the club chair where he was sitting at. So he'll, the, the uh, air cave would be, see, you know, next to him. So he'll have, you know, his, his, his area, his immediate area will be purified. And then he has his ionized on. So we're all good to go. So, so you should have the ionizer and the air cave. Um, For my husband, yes. Okay, <laughs> okay. but not not necessary. Right. One or the other. Yes. And for me. Yeah. Well, um, you know, the, the importance of having the ionizer is 
you know, he may not be carrying it. If he goes to the washroom, he has his iron eyes to him. So he can go to the washroom and come back, you know, and he's safe when he walks to the air, you know, because he has to, you know, if he, got, or if he walks over to the bar, he has his iron eyes on. But when he's sitting in the, you know, in the, the comedy club and he's just sitting in his, you know, in the club chair, he's got, you know, he's got, that's where he's got the air cave. And that's where you're going to be seated the longest is right there. So he's got fresh, clean, pure air, cleaned air that he's breathing. So that's why I take both of them. Because at some point he's going to leave to go to the washroom or he's going to go to over to the bar area and he'll need to have his his uh, ionizer on during those times. So, so so the thing about sometimes about the places that we go is kind of you know we we took everything Shirley and I took everything because we said we don't know we don't, we we've not been to the place we don't know what the setup is like what we might need or what might not need so we had everything just in case, you know, <laughs> including including extra ionizers because it's like somebody's gonna show up without one. Okay, so we were we were amply prepared, you know. Um, we were just amply prepared. So I have my little big tote designer tote bag, and I have my little stuff and all my stuff in there. And, you know, like okay, we we going out tonight. We gonna have fun. We gonna laugh. We gonna dance. You know, so we, you know, everybody understood, you know, we got our little corner, you know, don't get more than 10 feet away from the couch. You know, we got to dance, you know, like this is our little area. We don't want it, nobody intruded on our space, but, you know, and we're going to go back because now we know we can, we know how to control that. Well, you know, pretty much how to manage that environment. We can't control any environment, but manage that environment. We know pretty much how the spacing of the seats are, you know. Mm -hmm. So we're good. And everybody in our group, if you come in to hang with us, you gotta have, you know, an eye on eye. So period, the end in the story. Cause none of y'all can replace my husband, okay? <laughs> and what'd he do for me? <laughs> And none of y'all can replace Miss Shirley Walker and what she does for me. Because I love me with some Miss Shirley Walker. Okay. Well, thank you. She loved herself too. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay, folks. I'm not going to drag this out. Do you have any other questions or, or any other concerns as we move into the holidays and what we're doing? I put another, um, a large room, Honeywell um, air purifier Ooh. that I have in um, mm -hmm. my living area, which is pretty large, my living room. And I have several throughout the house. Just yeah, like 2000. Yeah, that's so um, it's back at a reasonable yes. price. And I had this before COVID hit us. So I just changed my filters in it. It has like five filters in it. Um, but it is a good one. It's a good quality one. Anything that is Honeywell is, is very good and excellent. So that's a good price too. It is. It had gone yeah. up necessarily to $500. Wow. So that's why when I looked at it, um, you know, I was like, you know, people might be interested in that one. That one is a quality one. I do have it in a room that is probably over 600 square feet. Wow, I like it. How much was it again? I paid one ninety nine for it, but I had it before COVID hit us, and it has been going okay. up. It, it has been going up in price. It had went up to four ninety nine one time because I kept looking at it because I share it with people, but it's gone down. So now would be the time to strike to get you one if you're interested in it. 220 now. Yes. That's the best price I have seen in a long time. Wow. With that amount of square feet. Yes. Yep. That's a good one. And Honeywell is, is their good quality scientific products. 
Okay, so now understand that it has only five, uh, about five air exchanges per hour for a 465 right. square foot. Right. So, um, so, you know, while this may, you know, this is good for just general cleaning of the air if you're in a 2,000 square foot space, but if you were putting this, this would be a good, um, a good air purifier for, you know, if, if you, one of the reasons for having a good air purifier in your house is at some point, if somebody gets sick, you need to have a good air purifier in their bedroom. That's why I bought air purifiers for all of the bedrooms that the boys are in uh, here, and my, you know, and my goddaughters, because, you know, um, it keeps the viral load down because they're not breathing out viral particles and then breathing them back in. It keeps the viral load down in the house because, you know, and, uh, you know they live in a rental home. So it's not like they can attach stuff to the HVAC system uh, to clean the air. So, you, you know, and every room is going to be connected. So you want to reduce the viral particles throughout the house. And so you want to make sure that the rooms where the sick person is located has a good uh, air purifier in it. You, you know, with, you know, at least five air exchanges per hour, six if possible and more or more. And if the room is even smaller, because if, if it's saying, uh, 4.8, shoot, oh, let me go back to it, 4, I'm still on my Zoom call, what is that? Oh, probably when we do Dr. Tate, because he does stuff like that, so hold on. My my goddaughter is asking me, have we ever talked about sinus irrigators and neti pots and stuff the like that? Yeah, so oh yeah, we've yeah, we've we we are covering that. Yeah, the more natural stuff is. So there are all the people who are listening to us. <laughs> okay. Even though they may not necessarily be on the Zoom, they listen later, they pick up the tape later. So, uh, so this thing, a 465 square foot room is what? That's a 17 by, uh, let me get a calculator. That's a pretty big, that's still a pretty big room. Uh, because 20 by 20 is 400 square, 20 by 20 foot by 20 foot. So think you had this in a small bedroom, which is usually, you know, you're gonna be looking at about half that square footage. And that means it'll be 10 times an hour, which is really good. That means every five minutes. So that would be a really good air, you know, air purifier in a room where somebody can use. Really and it's a good price. All right. Is that lady? She tells no, that's not lady. No, that's not lady. Lady, she already she's she was at the front at the office door huffing me because oh, okay. she wanted to eat. Okay. <laughs> that's somebody else's baby. That's somebody else's baby. Okay. Um, you know. Okay, so I, I do have to cut this off at, I can't stay on here all night because okay. I got to drive. We're going to roll it up right now, Dr. Bless, because <laughs> it's, if you want this recording, it's going to be long. So, you know, Michelle, if it doesn't download. Oh, it's still it's mm -hmm. still recording. Oh, yes, wow. it's still recording, okay. but we're off of Facebook. Um, okay. I just want to wish everyone a happy Thanksgiving, safe travels. Absolutely. If you're traveling, be safe. If you need your skin guard, order your skin guard. Or your skin guard. Um, I just did. Mm -hmm. Air tamer. If you want the air tamer and you want to use the promo code, 
um, is Thrive 30 on their website. So you can go straight to, we'll have it on our biosafety um, tool page on the website if you can't remember, but it's airtamer.com and it's easy. Picture Troy. Um, Troy. Troy Anderson is the owner. If you have issues with your units, um, you can email me and I'll send him your email address, but it's Troy. I want to say he said at airtamer.com. I put it in the chat, but that's way up there. Um, he said so, Troy at, mm -hmm, at airtamer.com. Um, Miss Shirley, you might want to reach out to him so he can get your address so he can send you a replacement. I already sent it. You sent it to him already? Yeah. yeah a bit about we're sending the replacements. Um, but yeah. Never fear, we're gonna look at um, Omni Me next because they have a program as well. So um, it won't be next Tuesday, but it'll be um, next year, point. January, February, we'll get um, um, Omni Me on board. Thank you, Karen. Um, and yeah, yeah, I think I, yeah, I think the Omni Me has a, has a different, uh, you know, different applications and uses, especially if you're talking about situations where um, maybe you don't have, you know, you're in a situation where you can't take a room size air conditioner, but you need some coverage. You know, uh, I like having it um, just because it's so small and so convenient. I can throw it in my purse. And if I, you know, end up in a meeting or somewhere in the room with somebody that I don't know what the situation is. <laughs> I can pull out the Omni Me and sit it on the table and I'm good. <laughs> okay. Between my iron, my air tamer and that on the table, I'm real good. Mm -hmm. I'm real good. You know. Um, but just like Christy, you know, I'm trying not to be at a table where I'm back to back with somebody else, especially if they're coughing and hacking. And right. Trying to <laughs> okay, not right. trying to do that. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank you, Dr. Blessman. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, family. Y'all hung in there too. I know it's late. I <laughs> yeah. Um, but it was good so, information. Yeah. Thank oh, you, wow. everyone. And thank uh, you, everyone. Play Have it a out. wonderful beautiful amazing thanksgiving holiday you have everything you you know what you you know you know have all the information you need to keep your you and yours safe and uh you know uh just use what use the tools that are out there to keep you and yours safe um you know what okay, can you do? So have any questions that. If you have any concerns about, you know, what to do, like if you're having a holiday party, you know, text me, call me, you know, keep, you know, and, you know, we can work out whatever else you might need given, you all pretty much know what you need, no matter what you're doing. But if you need some confirmation or, you know, just to be sure, give me a call, give me a text. We're there for you. Okay. Okay. Sounds all right. good. I appreciate okay. you. Okay. Love you all. Love everyone. Yeah. Yes, most definitely. And if you come in next Tuesday, it'll be Dr. Tate's video. Video. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good night. Good, Good night. night. All right. Take us out, Michelle. Okay. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.